Good morning, the Ridge Medical Practice. Vicky speaking. I got bitten by a dog yesterday. OK, right. And he drew blood. Where is it most sore? It's hurting in here. You're such a brave boy. I lost my husband in end of May. He went in and he didn't come out. Must have been a bit shock. Dramatic. Yeah. yeah, it is a shock. Have you ever had trouble with your breathing before? Yeah, but not as bad as this. Not as bad as this. OK, all right. I'll show you pictures of poo on my phone, if that's OK. How are you feeling about what happened? I'm paranoid. Mm. Really paranoid. Yeah. Morning, Ebony. Morning. Leonie. Oh, my God. I'm Susan Towers, a GP, but with an interest in skin problems, so that's why your doctor sent you here. I hope you can help me. So you didn't have any problems with your skin as a child? On and off. Um, what did you have? Patches of eczema, but then more recent. I've had outbreaks, like, all down my back, all down my legs, and the biggest problem is my ear. I've had that ongoing for over 12 months now, antibiotics, cream, steroids, anything, and it's just not helping. Is there any reason why you can think that might have happened to your job, for example, or any hobbies? Or? I say s maybe stress-related. Stress, stress, I think stress. age thing, getting older. <laughs> <laughs> you perhaps stress more because you know there's more to worry about, don't you, maybe? Yes. I've had poor mental health, so I've just been getting myself more well. Right. So focusing on my mental health, going to support groups and stuff. OK. I've been using hydrocortisone ointment on my ear. It itches. So in the night, I'm waking up yeah. and my ear's on fire. So that's what's been bothering me more lately. This is really bad. Oh, that's nasty, isn't it? Do you colour your hair? I have dyed it, but I haven't had hair dye in the, in the ear. It is leaching out slowly over time. That's why right. it fades. And so it can irritate you if you're sensitive. Can I look at... Uh, you what did you say? Your legs are bad? What they are on my legs is more scars. Let me pull this round. Yeah. These are the recent ones that I've just scarred. OK. I say they're like cigarette burns. Yeah. You, you do have a spotty type of eczema, which some people have. And these are, these are my old scars. Previous, yeah. But this is why it's bothered me, because it's yeah, coming come come back again. Them. No, it's scarring me. Oh. I'm not sure if you can see if there's any on my back still, but oh, normally yeah. I get them all over my back. Oh, there is. Okie doke, thank you. Come and take a seat. So this is your new chap, is it? Yeah, we're, we're engaged now. now. OK, so you missed your appointment yesterday for your B12, is yeah. that right? We yeah. got it in the wrong place, didn't we? We slipped up, didn't we? Anyway, let's see when your last one was. You won't know anything about diabetic, will you? Hmm? Do you? I want to know, yes. Oh, well, we've come to the right place. Yeah. <laughs> well, I did my blood this morning and I was 17.7. OK. What is it normally? One day last week, it came up to 22. Anything changed in your diet? No. You're not having more no. cakes, no. biscuits, chocolate, no. anything? No, I've been eating quite a few sweets. I've been no. e eating a few, but not a lot. No. It's um, telling tales on you. I know, because <laughs> we go shopping and, oh, a bag of sweets goes in straight away. I wonder who's putting the sweets in that... Me. OK. So just be careful with those. Yeah, well... Yeah. Right. Okay. OK, well, yeah. Shall we do your B12? Right. Where do we normally have it? Either my left or my right. Do you think this injection now might bring a blood test down a bit. This is not going to have anything to do with oh, um, glucose it? levels, no. no. Right. So this is like um, iron deficiency. Yeah. I see. So she might get a bit more energy. Yeah. <laughs> I could do with some. She's full of energy. <laughs> we go cycling. Good. I went cycling yesterday and I fell Did off you? on the bike. Look. Oh, keep an eye on that. It's does it need help? Right. Does it need help? It looks okay. It? We're putting saveling on that. If it Sabling. gets more red, more hot, and any swollen, come back and get it checked. But yeah. keep it clean. Right. Right, shall we do it in your right arm? Right. OK. There goes, there goes. So, relax your arm down, OK? 
You know it stings a little bit, don't you, when it yeah, goes it in? Yeah, it does, yeah. Look at you, fella. Can't scratch. <laughs> All right, nearly done. All done. Okie doke. Thank All you very much. Today. You're welcome. Nice yeah. to meet you. Yeah, yes, nice to you. meet yeah. you. And you. And oh, yeah. <laughs> She's not just a pretty woman, eh, love? We'll see you again, love. See you later. Bye, bye, love. bye. Your skin surface is supposed to be like a brick wall. With yeah. the bricks, your skin cells, and then the cement in between them. And people with eczema tend to not have quite as good cement as people who don't have eczema. OK. That means the bricks fall off more easily, so your skin tends to be a bit drier and flakier. Yeah. You lose water through the gaps, mm. but also things can get in. When something gets through those little cracks and irritates, it irritates you a lot more than it would irritate somebody without eczema. Yeah. And that's why steroids are needed, OK? Because they express the inflammation. But we don't want to keep using steroids because they're going to damage your skin. Yeah. That's why I've got to prevent with lots of Moisturizer. Is, that, is it common that because people think I've, been, I've, I've got flea bites and stuff? I've never seen it before. Well, I've seen it like that. It, Some people do have a spotty type of eczema. And why have I only just started getting it? Stress always makes things worse. We know it affects your immune system. Right. Maybe when you weren't so well with your mental health, you didn't look after your skin as well as yeah, you do true, now. I yeah. don't know. It's a Suppose, combination yeah. of things usually. But anyway, now you've got to start. Yeah, again. definitely. Better than you fobbing me off, really, because I was thinking it just weren't curable. It's not curable, it's controllable. Yeah. Lovely. So you've got two tubs of moisturising cream, so that'll last you two weeks. Uh, I've given you this uh, quite strong cream called Sinal RC. I've given you loads more than I think you'll need, actually. It should be loads better within a couple of weeks. Okay. There's hope, isn't there? There's <laughs> definitely hope. You're going to get better, Yeah, promise. thank you very much. <laughs> thank you're welcome. You. We have a big problem with his willy, with foreskin. Last couple of days, he was complaining that it hurts. Yeah and that he feels the pain when he's doing we. Mm -hmm. And yesterday at school, he fell over and he squashed it somewhere. Okay. I've been asking him if it was hurting before he fell over. Yeah. He said yes, he said yes. Yes, OK. Right, let me have a little look at you. Well done. He, he come to me yesterday and tell me, Daddy, I have a little problem. Oh. Pull his pants down, look. He's oh. swollen and bigger and getting bigger and bigger. <laughs> OK. OK, so it's slightly up now. Right, over here onto this little thing here. Over you come, there's a good boy. All right, then. On that side is worst. Is it uncomfortable? It is hurting. Oh, it's hurting. Yeah, no. I think he's squeezed somewhere here, or, yeah, or is, is it infection okay. or something? It does look a little bit infected, doesn't it? Yeah. I agree. I'd like just pop his things back up for a moment. That's, mm -hmm. I'm going to ask Dr. Keris to take a little look at him because that's sort of what's well, obviously tender, isn't it? All right, I won't be a moment. Oh, okay. It looks like bruised at the base of his penis, like really bruised. Really? Like because they said it was really swollen up. Okay. And I thought that doesn't look normal. Right. So, okay. Mm -hmm. Sure. I don't know if I've been bitten on my eye by something. It's just literally swollen me all eye up. And two evenings, so I sat out on quarter to ten, when it just getting dark, I got bitten by insects. We're in garden. Chris stood on a wasp's nest. His whole body is covered in wasping. Whatever it was, flew on, bit me there, and carried on its way. <laughs> uh, well, I came in last night because. I'd been bitten. It happens this time every year. Oh, no. I keep getting bitten by something everywhere, look. I've had one there and one there, but I don't know what it is. It's proper doing my head in. Right. How do I you got bitten by a dog yesterday. OK, right. And he drew blood. And the police suggested that I come to see the doctor. Mm. OK, so tell me what happened. I'm walking down the road and there was this woman standing by the car Husband standing there and a son with a dog on the lead, a little rat on the lead, yeah? OK, yeah. Suddenly just jumped up and bit me through the leg. Right. But I was more shocked. Yeah, of course. I mean, I love dogs. I've yeah. had dogs all my life, but yeah, I've never, yeah. ever been bitten by one. The vast majority of dogs are beautiful, nice yeah. animals, you know. Right, shall we have a look at it? Yeah. I don't think I can get it out far enough. It's all these new trendy pants that are all tight at the bottom. Yeah, look. <laughs> oh, I might. 
Right. It actually hurts. Yeah, I bet it does, because it's bled underneath as well, which is that bruising that you can see there. That really hurts. Right, there's a couple of things we need to do. Because he's broken the skin, we need to give you antibiotics. Yeah. Uh, any bite that breaks the skin, we give antibiotics for. Yeah. We need to give you a tetanus booster as well. I haven't well. had one of them for a long time. Yeah, okay. I, I need the top of your arm for that, so if you can just... Take me jump. Yeah. Off. Are you allergic to anything? Not that I know of. <laughs> So this will protect you against tetanus uh, for the next 10 years. So OK, that's... thank you. Right, just a sharp scratch, sorry. You're all done. That's thank you it. very much. No problem. And a course of antibiotics to take for seven days. Yeah. Um, it's certainly not infected or anything now. That's good. It's just about protecting it from getting infected and protecting you from tetanus. One four times a day for a week. That's you sorted. Thank you very All right, much. All right, nice to see you. And you. Thank you Ooh. very much. See you later. Bye. Bye. OK, I've got Dr Karis in to take a look at the lip as well. All right. Right, so what's happened then today? He got that problem with the foreskin. Right, tell us a bit about it. What happened at school then? I was running then. I fell down. You fell down? Yeah. OK. Oh, did he land on someone's leg or someone's knee? Maybe, right. yeah. We've got to make you feel a bit better, haven't we? Yeah, what do you reckon? Should we have a little look at you? Are you able to sit down? Right. Can you pull the skin back yourself? Is it going to go back? Show us what you can do. OK. Right, there's some bruising. bruising here, Just, ah, right, yeah, a little bit. OK. What What year are you in at school, then? What, what class are you in? Uh, year one. Year one. So how many teachers have you got? Two. Two. Right, can I have a little look down here, see if we can make it feel a bit better? Yeah. You're a good lad, aren't you? Where is it most sore? It's just all over, isn't it? It's hurting in here. It's a bit swollen, isn't it? OK, you're such a brave boy. OK, did anybody kick you today? Yeah. Who kicked you? It's OK, you can tell us what, what really happened. happened. It's absolutely fine. Someone kicked me and then I fell over. OK, where did they kick you? Uh, in this in this bit? Yeah. Pull your things up, OK. Mm -hmm. I think you're the bravest year one boy I've seen today, definitely. Mm -hmm. Definitely. Um, right. I think probably he's been kicked there and that's flared things up a little bit yeah. and, and it's all a bit swollen and that's aggravated the problem. He has got a tight foreskin and... Mm -hmm. He may well benefit from a circumcision at some point, yeah. you know, where they remove the foreskin to allow it a bit easier. I'll do a referral I'll and they can it. discuss yeah. it with you about yeah. whether to do it straight yeah. away, to You've wait and ace. see. You've been ace. Mm. Oh, yeah, such a brave boy. Um, because he's able to pee, we think we probably need to give him some antibiotics yeah. to try and help settle that yeah. down. He may be more comfortable sitting in the bath trying to pee in the bath, you know, um, mm -hmm. and things like that. Okay. Is that all right? Thanks, okay. All right, yeah. I'll leave you in very cable hands. Oh, OK, okay. thank you. Any questions? No, I think we know everything. Yeah, there we go then. All no, right, okay. thank you. Bye bye. Bye bye. All <laughs> no, right, no, see you. Bye. Okay then. Bye. British Medical Practice, Dawn speaking. Um, I'm afraid our system has crashed at the moment. We're not able to do anything. I think it would be the same at our other surgeries as well, yes, because we all use the same system. Uh, we are advising people if they could call back in about an hour or so. No, I'm afraid I can't do anything because none of the doctors can get onto the system either. I can't, I can't no, physically get onto the computer to see the appointment the system. Ability. I would advise you in 111. As I said to you, before the systems went down, I knew that all the appointments for this afternoon had been fully booked. I'm really sorry, but there's nothing I can do because there's no system. The only option would be to ring us in the morning to try and get an appointment then. Dorina? I, uh... Come on down. Bit You're still walking quickly enough, though, aren't you? Hey? Do you not die if I can't? Yeah? Uh, What's been the matter? My feet. Yeah? 
when I put in the morning, put them here, yeah. it feel like a sponge. So is it tender? Oof, yes. Even the painkiller doesn't kill it. If I press there, is that where it's tender? Mm -hmm. Yeah. It probably is the fasciitis where... Yes. It's where the arch drops a little bit. Uh, yes, but and it's the other foot as well, just the same. Yeah, it's often the same on both feet. Yeah. What commonly happens is if we look at your foot sideways on... Yeah. That's your heel bone. Yeah. And those are the bones going to your toes. You have this strong... Uh, yes, there. This strong tendon that goes along yeah. to form the arch of your foot. And what that tendon does, sometimes it flattens out yeah. and it pulls on the bone here and it causes an inflammation of the tendon and around that heel bone. Uh -huh. That's the thing that's painful. Uh -huh. Yeah. What you can do is buy some supports that support the arch. Oh, my son's bought me Yeah. Uh, and the other thing you can do is you can give an injection to that area. Oh, no, no. No, then I'll shut <laughs> time with that. Do you want to try with that for another yeah. few weeks? For, see how thing goes. OK. So you were telling me last time about... Cos when I'm going to... We're going down to see my son. Yes, he's still down there, isn't In he? Seven Oaks. In Seven Oaks. <laughs> Seven Oaks. Yeah. It's a it used to be beautiful, but it wasn't very populated. I remember it was there. But it was beautiful, clean, part of the countryside. And why were you down there again? Ah, because I had relation everywhere. So you were a guest of Mary Soames? Yes. Who was Winston Churchill's daughter? First daughter. And used to go and stay? Yes, because and, uh, and she was the top chef for them. What year to, was this? Was it? In 1954. Yeah. Because Winston used to say, Ooh, Bradford, it's very dark. <laughs> Uh, so we'll wait and see how you go with the padding. Yes. It, Another three or four weeks. Three or four still weeks. Still struggling. Mm -hmm. We'll reconsider possible injection. Well, I'll try anything. Yeah? <laughs> OK. Thank you very much for everything. Nice and, you'll look you. you. and we'll see you again if you're struggling yes, still with this. this is, I'm getting home. But no, not you're still bad. great. Yeah. Keep on going. <laughs> see you later, dear. Bye-bye. Did you see me at... Um, when I was 14, and I thought I looked like, like a right stunner. <laughs> I went to my sister's anniversary and she had the, the, the album out. Oh, so I thought to myself, oh, you looked pretty not mad. Oh, Even though you say it yourself? Even though I say it myself. <laughs> <laughs> that tall one, you? <laughs> I know, I was actually tall. Each. Oh, it still looks like you. You were changing me. And then look at this. <laughs> yeah, you still, I'm sorry, but you still look good. You were, what, 14 there? Yeah. Yeah. You should have seen me up when I was 14. Really? <laughs> no. I can't imagine you being chubby at all. Come on in, have a couple of seats. I'm Dr Caris. Right, this is Angela, is it? And who have you got with you? I'm an auntie. Auntie, auntie Linda. Yeah, the living with me and me. All right. Dance. All right, OK. Right, what's going on? I can't. I'm still going to breathe again. All right, OK. I when did... She's been on for nearly five weeks now. Five weeks, all right. Cos you have... I've got inhalers and she's using them, but they're not touching her. Oh, really? Right. OK, so which inhalers have you got and which ones do you use? <laughs> um, I use that one at night in the morning. And that one during the day when I need it. OK. Let's check you out. And then, have you had your inhalers today? Yeah. And have you ever had trouble with your breathing before? Yeah, but not as bad as this. Not as bad this. as this. OK, right. Right, let's pop this, uh, pop this on one of your fingers, eh? And how do you feel in yourself now? Just a bit breathless. A bit breathless, yeah. Because your oxygen level is very good, 99, yeah. and your pulse rate is, is OK. Can we have a quick listen? Is that all right? Able to stand up, eh? Yeah. I'm just going to have a little tap first, OK? <laughs> You feel a bit warm, don't you? OK. Let's just have a wee listen down here. You don't mind if I just... OK, that's fine. Have a seat. So, um, I mean, listening to your breathing, it's, it's very clear. There's no sign of any tightening or asthma there. Your numbers are very good, um, and uh, clearly you, you, you're struggling a little bit. And I just wonder if that's more sort of an anxiety, panic attack type of thing rather than a flare-up of the asthma. Our 
brains control our body, as you know, but sometimes they can sort of go into an override, if you like, um, and certain things, for, sometimes for unknown reasons, can start making us feel a bit edgy and a bit anxious. Um, and I think that's probably what's, what's going on. Has anything happened today at school or, you know, that's maybe could have made you feel a bit anxious and things? No. Yeah, panic attacks, they are very common, much more common in ladies for some reason, much more common in sort of your sort of age group, if you like. And it maybe is because there's a lot of changes going on, um, but also there's a lot of sort of emotional stuff going on and, and uh, difficult to, to, to manage sometimes. Um, there's a, a phone number we can give you that you can ring and uh, you can get access to someone who can talk a bit about it. Would you like to, to do that? I think that's probably the best option, isn't it? All right, any questions from either of you? Thank you. All right. OK, we'll get you sorted, no worries. All right. See you later. Come in. Hi, Mr. Arnick. Come in, I'm Dr. Khan. Come and sit down. Nice to meet you. How can I help? Um, so, Saturday, I um, went for a drink, went down to Tesco's, went to go buy some more beer. Mm. As I was down there, um, a group of lads ended up chasing me. Right. Uh, I must have done a good five, six miles of proper sprinting, running for my life kind of thing. Um, I've really damaged both my calves, like to the point where I woke up this morning, I couldn't get out of bed. OK, so now tell me about the... It's just the leg. I, I struggle getting standing up, mm. walking around. Yeah. It's just, it feels like constant cramp. OK, both legs or just what? Both. Right, and whereabouts? Like, all my calf. All along there. Yeah. And you ran for how how long do you think you I ran for? I got five six mile hour running for a good really? couple of hours. And how did for a couple of hours? Yeah. Right. We'll have a look at your legs and sort that out. How are you feeling about what happened? I'm paranoid. Mm. Really paranoid. Yeah. Oh, yeah. thanks, Vicky. Just, just what? Where what would you like me to leave it? Could you leave it just there? It's going to look at me all morning and remind me of apple juice and remind me to drink. You've not suddenly started passing stools into your pants? No. no. Is there any blood in your poo? <clears throat> no, no. Heidi's been having quite sort of mucusy poo. And is it like watery or soft? It's watery. It's, it's most horrible. Is like a child's poo supposed to be black? Going to the toilet okay? Going to the toilet a lot. Not been any blood in your poo? No. Is are they hard, soft, normal? I carry a bag full of poo. Uh, her poos are just not formed. Hiya. Guess what I got you? Moppy. Moppy. Go in there. Come in. Hi, honey. Please take a seat. So, my name's Dr Eunice. I'm one of the GPs working here. This is Andelia and your mum. Uh, my name is yeah, yeah. Amber. Yeah, Amber. How can I help? She hasn't been very well. I think she complains a lot about stomachache all the time. Where, where in the tummy are you having the pain? In the middle. In, do you have the pain at the moment? No. no. OK. When was the last time you had the pain? Um, about three hours ago. OK. When you're going to the toilet, the toilet when you're doing a poo, I'm going to ask you some silly questions about poo now. Is that OK? When, you, when you're going to try and do a poo, is it hard to get the poo out? Do you, have to, do you have to strain a lot to get the poo out? OK. If I show you pictures of poo on my phone, if that's OK, would you be able to tell me which ones you have? I know it's silly, I'll just... What sort of poo do you get when you have... When you um, do a poo? That one yeah. and that one. OK, so th when it's this one, this one tells us that you're a bit constipated, OK. Have you noticed any blood or anything when you wipe? Nothing on your tissue, nothing like that? No. OK. What's a diet like? She eats fine. What sort of food would she eat? Um, mainly containing bread. OK. Um, she likes paninis. What about vegetables, fibre type thing? You're already saying no, no, it would no, OK. Because I think that's part of the reason, too. Normally, when kids are constipated, usually diet has a big control. So we need to make sure we drink plenty of fluids, but also plenty of fibre, so vegetables and things. Can we have a feel of your tummy? Would that be OK? Perfect. So if you pop up on there... And if you lie back down for me, honey, is that OK? So all we're going to do is feel your tummy. Is that it? That's all we're going to do. Any... No pain at the moment? No pain down there? Bit of pain there, OK. That's fine. If you pop back down there... I think we're going to give you something to help with uh, opening your bowels. So this tummy pain uh, might not be, but 
it's likely that it's all related to this constipation that you that you suffer from. What we give you to help with that, we give you some medicine. But actually, the main treatment for it is going to be looking at her diet, right. make sure she's, she's you're having the good type of food. I know it's they don't taste nice. You know, I was horrible when I was a kid with vegetables, but like now I know the the importance of it. Thank Perfect. you so much. That's fine. Thank, thank you. you. Thank you. See you later. Oh, thank you. Okay. Thank, thank you. you. See you later. I've got two and a half hours left. Who was? Me. Two and a half? Yeah, but well, you know what I two mean. Two hours and 20 minutes. Every minute counts. So it's 10 minutes knocked off of it. Once you're in the hour, it's a breeze. Oh, yeah, no, tell me about it. We've got a temporary registration patient coming hopefully soon. I feel like if I press these, I'll shoot out of this chair. <laughs> <laughs> Are you nervous about going out or anything like that? Have you been out I, since then? No, I, like, I was, I was going to get bus out. I couldn't even get bus out. I ended up getting a taxi and... Yeah, it's a very st stressful situation to have been and I think everyone would feel nervous about going out after something yeah, like yeah. that. Talking about traumatic experiences is really helpful. Mental health and wellbeing is so important, especially in young men. It's just as important as your physical health. Evidence suggests that young men are most at risk of suicide. So if you are feeling troubled, down, anxious, please come and see your doctor. We're here to help. So your legs and the, the difficulty with your legs, that's easy for me to take care of. It's how we manage the, the kind of the impact of being chased by these people. It's, it's paranoia, like mm. there was someone who knocked at my door today and I wouldn't even go open the door. Right, right. Just because uh, two months ago I ended up getting robbed right. at knife point. Oh, God. Have you had any support, kind of, through these incidents that have happened to um, you? I've done, like, therapy before. Mm. I've been on, like, all the antidepressants and stuff like that, which, in my opinion, I don't think they do anything, but... They don't work for everyone, you're right. And if you've been through an awful situation or you're going through an awful situation, they can never take that away from you. I think there's more going on under the surface. We do have a fantastic counsellor here at the surgery and she does talk to you back as well as listen. The first few appointments are about listening and getting to know you, but then after that, it's about talking about how to cope with things and how to manage things better. Uh, so why don't we arrange to see each other in a couple of weeks after, after today and, and make sure that, that side of things is settling, and if not, we can think about how we manage that. Yeah, Let's have a look at your legs. That's what you're really here for, isn't it? <laughs> OK, so... Just give me a second. <laughs> no, no, take your time. So if you just lie down on there for us. And I'm just going to have a feel of your legs. Is that sore? Yeah. Yeah. It, ah. yeah, they are very tight, aren't they, your legs? OK. What's happened to these muscles, really? It's just because they're not used to that distance of running, as most muscles aren't. They've become swollen and tender as a result. So we need to give you something to reduce all this inflammation down. OK, I'll sort that out. Just come out when you're ready, Simon. I think there's a lot of positive things about you, Simon. I was just thinking about it. You're a young lad, you've been through a lot, you know, it's difficult things to talk about, but, you know, you've talked about them, and I think that's really important. Yeah, it's hard to speak to my mum about stuff like that, and... Because okay. she'll worry more than me, and... Does she get worried as well? Yeah. As mums do, eh? Yeah, and I don't want my mum getting more worried than I am. Yeah, I think that's fair. There's no point putting pressure on her, is there? You're a nice lad, Simon. Oh, don't forget this. This is the key to your legs getting better. Thank All you. right, see you in a bit. Bye. Wonderful, thank you. I can keep hearing, like, you know, beep noises. <laughs> Not sure I can see anything. It's there, right on the... There, so it's, it's there. Sometimes in the middle of the night, it's like drum beats. I can hear this dum 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 dum, -dum and then yeah. it stops. Right, I'm Dr. Karis, and we've got Karen knocking around. Yep. So... Sorry, what's your name? Dr. Karis. Kerry. Karis. Kelly. Karis. Kerry. Toe, your doctor mentioned. Toe, your doctor mentioned. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm not... Yeah. Up. No, I'm sorry, sorry, yeah. Sorry. <laughs> Come on, three. Thank you. Have a seat, Mr McGowan. Um, so, my name's Gemma. I'm a physician associate student working with Dr James this morning. Right. Um, are you happy to speak with me first? And then we'll get Dr James in. Is that OK? Yes, yeah, sounds, yeah. Perfect. So, how can we help you this morning? Uh, well, I've gone deaf in this year. Probably about 70% deaf in OK. I think I'm bunged up. You know, whatever the word is, congested. Yeah, yeah. That eye's not 
That eye's watering as well. Runny nose? No, it's blocked. Blocked nose as well. Yes. Um, are you happy for me to do a few examinations on you today? Is that all right? Yes, so, yeah. So I'm just going to start by taking your temperature. So just going in your ear. Go in the good one. Perfect. Is it? 36.3, that's right. absolutely normal. Right. I'm just going to go in the good ear first, Not if that's normal. all right. Yep. And on the other side. Tell me if it's uncomfortable or painful. No, no it will be, no. no. No, it's not. So when I summarise to the doctor, it's the ear that's concerning oh, you most, isn't well, it? Even though it's me, and mm. it, you know, like if I go like that. Yeah. That's what it feels I like. I can hear that inside, like a right loud noise. Um, I'll go and knock. I might be a few minutes if he's just yeah, seen it's someone, all right. but he'll I, come back in I here with nod, me. I can nod off, can I? Yeah, have a, yeah. Have a sneak if you want. Right. <laughs> right, thank you. OK. Um, 69 year old gentleman, Mr. McGowan. Um, he's come in with a um, three week history of gradual hearing loss in his left ear. Okay. Um, it's sounding quite like a viral infection. He's got a bit of a stuffy nose, a bit feeling a bit under the weather. Sorry for the wait. Hi there. Hello. Hello. It's Dr. Hello. James. Nice to see you. All right. So um, I understand that your hearing's been down a little bit. This one, yeah. Is yeah. it always in that one? Yeah. Sometimes if you're blocked up in your nose, yeah. there's a little tube that runs from your sinuses to your inner ear, and that, that little tube is, is blocked up. Right. And that pulls the eardrum a little bit down over the small bones of the ear. Right. And then that's probably what's caused your hearing to drop down. Yeah, right. And it'll probably stay dropped down until this clears. Right. So it might be four or five weeks. All right. All together. Can you breathe in and out? No, this nose is... I can there. That's really blocked, no, isn't it? One, yeah. Have you broken your nose before? Uh, no. I, not that I know. It's quite inflamed and a bit angry on that side. Right. In the past, when I've had it similar, uh, I... I Put my head over that albus oil in, in water. That would help, definitely, right. what you just described. The other thing is a nasal spray. So I'll, I'll give you a prescription for that, and that right. should open it up. Right. right. Right, I'll go and do the prescription. I'll take Gemma with me, I'll go and sign it, and she can bring it back for okay, you. OK. Is that OK? Yeah, thank you. We'll see you in a second. Yeah. That's fine. That's good. Okay. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah. Hit the nail on the head there. A physician's associate is something that's been used in many different healthcare systems throughout the world to really good effect. They primarily support the clinical team, and that might involve seeing acutely ill patients on that day under the supervision of a doctor, helping triage or work out who needs to be seen most urgently, and also helping us manage some of our complex and chronically ill patients alongside the doctor. This is likely to become more normal um, in the future. Right, here we go. Sorry for keeping you so long. OK. Right. So this is the nasal spray. Um, it probably will take about a week or so to, to start feeling yeah. the effects. OK. Um, and if after a few weeks you, you're still exactly the same, no better, do come back. Right. Is that all right then, sir? Yes, sir. Yes, thank you Thank you very much for speaking yep. with me. Sorry we've taken okay, so long today. No, that's all right. Thank you. Take care. Bye. 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 Number 17. You both together, aren't you? Yeah. Oh. Can I just take a brief indication as to what the problems are today? Mine is for a repeat prescription, okay. and also I'd and he, like to see he? the doctor about yeah. the pain that I'm suffering because I'm like it's a constant 24 7 okay. pain. And mine's for sick now. So I can get you both seen together if you can either sit and wait until 10 20 or come back for that time. Yeah, we'll come back at 10 20. Yeah. Can you wait on it? I will. Yeah. yeah. We'll leave across the road five minutes. <laughs> that sounds good. Similar like a sit and wait. And yeah, we did used to do sit and wait many years ago, but we decided to change because it was just too busy and not everybody was getting seen. <laughs> well, where we used to live, they do still do the sit and wait. Yeah, you see, we're a very big practice, you see. We've got over 23,000 patients, oh, so if we did that, you can imagine how busy it would get. <laughs> so that's both your appointments this morning. You'll both be seen together, OK? Yeah. All right, no problem, thank you. Here we are. Hi. Hi, come Sorry, on in. Sorry, they kept me up there. Oh, I know, that's why you... 
<laughs> we know there's a bit of a queue sometimes in the morning. Uh, so, it was this thing here, wasn't yes. it? Would you mind if I just refresh myself? OK. Right. OK. So we've done a biopsy. Thank you for that. We've yes. done a biopsy. Yeah. It's come back as a little bit thicker than we would have yes. than I initially thought. Yes. So the plan today is to remove that completely. OK. Just uh, show you. From what we can see, if it's that sort of area, yeah. the, the current guidance is we're to measure four millimetres in all directions, and then we remove all of that to so a cuff of healthy skin. Yes. Okay? Yes. Right. Right, I'm gonna draw draw on you now, okay. Just so we can get the uh, the boundaries. I have to say it's better than going to the dentist, this. <laughs> yeah, I agree. Right, okay, grand. Right, here we go. Mm, little sharp. Three, stretch. two, one. Skin cancers can appear in various different forms and often in their very early stages can be hard to spot. Sometimes they can be just a small pink mark that doesn't settle or a scab that doesn't heal. In Barbara's case, she didn't have a scabbed area or a, a non-healing area, but it was clear to me once I'd looked at it down in a dermatoscope that it was cancerous and needed to be removed. If a patient is concerned, then they must go and seek medical advice and get checked over. <laughs> You're doing really well. So at the moment, I'm just doing the deep layer. Do you like one of my tomatoes? Do you like tomatoes? Grow. Yeah, I do. Yeah, yeah. I do they're really nice. Them. I think they're really nice. Have a couple of small they, they, Yeah. <laughs> so, how do you practice doing stitches? On an orange. <laughs> <laughs> on an orange, you make a cut in an orange and then, and then stitch, stitch it back together. Yeah, that's what I used to do. So when I first saw those three little red, almost like pinpricks, mm. how long would I have had this grown? Well, it's, it's a spectrum, really. It sort of starts off at uh, some sun damage where the, the skin just doesn't heal particularly mm. well. And you get these little marks. And then you start to get little red or white marks. And then those can sometimes change into these things. Right, five. What do you think, Karen? We're all right there, aren't we? Well, so just... I need the mirror now, you know, like oh, you do at the dentist. Have we, got, we haven't got a mirror, <laughs> no. have we? I'll see it when I take the I'll dressing off. Yeah, leave that, leave, I'll just leave it like that. Okay. Thank you for that. No, you're most welcome. Thank Any other questions? Much. No. I right, I'll, I'll leave you in peace right. to get yourself sorted. Thank you. You're most welcome. Come and have a seat. <clears throat> I'm Becky, one at Nurse Practitioner. Hiya. Hiya, I think we've met before, haven't yes. we? Yeah. Hello there. What are we doing today? It only happened yesterday. She was a bit chester. Yeah. And then last night I was watching her breathing. She was struggling, you know, like breathing really badly. Okay. Yeah. And she went in hospital, didn't she, last yeah. year, did she, when she had bronchiolitis then? Yeah. It can. She's got a high temperature, though. I'll give her a call at half past seven. OK. Are you clapping? Are you clapping? Hey. And has she been coughing, runny really nose she's or at, anything? She's had a cold for about two weeks. Uh, OK. Right, sweetheart. Do you want to start getting her undressed yeah. and have a little look at you? Listen to your heart, aren't we? Hey, I'm gonna pop that there. <coughs> and your <it's> like... <coughs> <coughs> What's that cough been like? Barking. Mm, more like a bit of a um, croupy cough, yeah. really. So we're gonna give her these tablets now, and then we're gonna repeat it in 12 hours. <coughs> right. So do what you're doing, paracetamol, ibuprofen, lots of fluids, wet nappies and things, OK? Yeah, that's fine. Yeah. 
but we'll see what she's like this afternoon and then we might just have to see her again tomorrow as well. Just yeah, to that's sure. fine. That's totally fine, right? yeah. OK, I'll get door for you. All right, sweetheart. Thank you ever so much. We'll see you later on. See okay. ya. Bye-bye now. Sylvia, please. Hiya, Sylvia. Hi. Come through. Come in, Sylvia. Please take a seat. I'll have to take my coat off. I'm absolutely cooking. My name's Dr Eunice. I'm one of the GPs working yes. here. How can I help? But I cough and cough and cough. And then the sneezes come. It's uncontrollable. I can't stop it. There's lots of different causes for cough. Uh, one of them is an infection. Yeah. Um, can we have a look? I think that would yeah, be the best thing. Can. So let's check your temperature first whilst you're seated. We'll check your temperature and your oxygen level. And then what we'll do is we'll have a listen to your chest. Please. You've got beautiful earrings on. Or studs. 36.8 temperature, that's fine. This tells us how well you're breathing. So your oxygen level at the moment, 98%, which is very good. And your uh, pulse is 67, which is perfect as well. So what we'll do is we'll pop you on there. We'll pop the curtains around. We want to have a listen to your back and I want to have a listen to your front. And if you just take a deep breath in and out through your mouth for me, honey. <sighs> Gonna tap on your chest. Right? That's okay. Can I have a listen to your front as well? Thank you. Do you want to pop up behind the curtain for me, then? I'm just kind of coping because I lost my husband in end of May. This year? Yes. Oh. And uh, he'd been in hospital before you bring them out. And this time he went in and he didn't come out. So it was Must have been a bit shock. traumatic. Yeah. yeah, it is a shock. Um, he had internal bleeding. And... Uh, Obviously, heart failure at the end, of course. It's it's horrible losing a loved one, it isn't is, it? Yes. Uh, and I think nothing can rep sort of replace that bond. No. How about how about you in terms of friends and stuff? Are you are you getting out? Well, I do some voluntary work. I've done it for it's up to our twelfth year. Mm -hmm. There's a church thing that has um, babies uh, and mothers and carers come. Uh, Good community, like a, a huge community, isn't it? Yes, yeah. I worked with a nursery nurse all my life oh, with okay. children, small children. So I've been very fortunate. In terms of your chest, when people are coughing and, and coughing for a long time, I, I want to make sure that we've had a recent chest X-ray just to make sure that... Your hand oh, sounds, sounds well. OK. Yes. So I think let's get a chest X-ray yeah. done. Listening to your chest, I can't hear signs of infection, no. no. And your oxygen level was 98%, That's you know, good, all of that it? is very good yes. to you. But obviously, good. if you do start bringing up the phlegm that you can see or yeah. things are getting worse, we want to see you again. Okay. But right now, t touch wood, oh, you're, lovely. you're fine. Oh, lovely. And I hope it continues that way. Yes. Is that OK? Oh, that's brilliant. It's lovely meeting you. I'll pop this on. Do you need any help? No, no, no I'm fine, though. It's just I, I'm careful with this shoulder. It's a pleasure to meet you. It's a pleasure to meet you. Yes. And I, I'm very reassured with that. You are a delight, Sylvia, honestly. Yeah. Pleasure to see you. I'll leave an extra form out in reception for you. Yes. Out uh, that yes. way and down. Thank you, dear. She is lovely. Take care. Bye. Thanks. Bye-bye. Thank you very much for your help. Cheers. Take, yeah. take care. Bye. Thanks. All the best. Thank you. Cheers. All right, see you Thank later. Bye-bye. All right, then. Thanks All right. a lot. Take Bye. care now. Bye-bye. Medical practice, have you speaking? There's a direct quote you said, I feel alive again. And I still do because I'm not drugged up to eyeballs. It's hurt all the time, is he? Has something like this happened before? No. Sharp scratch, sorry. Tell you what, Nathan, I've had bigger boys cry when I do this. You don't like doctor, you don't like to wait. 
It's easier to get into heaven than get into see a doctor. Enjoy life. Enjoy life and don't let this hold you back. No. Victor? Yes, it Hi, is. Victor. Come in. You're looking very smart. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> is that for my benefit? Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Go and sit down. Right, how can I help? Um, well, yesterday I was um, going down to pick up my little brother from school, and when I was walking down, I started feeling a sharp pain a uh, lower right side of my abdomen. Okay. So every time I put weight on my right leg, the pain started coming more and more. Sure. Okay. For the first time, I didn't go to football. Which okay. Is, yeah. So that's a big deal, is it? <laughs> it is, yeah. yeah. Fair enough, yeah. And is the pain there now as yeah, well? Yeah. Okay. And how would you describe the pain? Kind of piercing towards, like, um, uh, some of my bones, I'd say. Yeah. Into, yeah, just the, the top there, just at the front. Okay. Any nausea, vomiting? No. No? no. Going to the toilet, okay? Uh, going to the toilet a lot. A lot, yeah. okay. Do we have a feel of your tummy? That's Do you want fine. to just come up on the couch for us? Yeah. Are you worried it might be anything in particular? My mum said that it could be um, something with the appendix. I just yeah. thought it was a bladder. Yeah, yeah. So... Well, it's around the same place as your appendix, so it's something yeah. we need to rule in or out, really. So, and just yeah. relax, head back, nice and relax. If you just point to where you're getting the pain... It's right there. ...around there. I'm just going to start on this side. Yeah. Is that sore? Yeah, yeah there. Out there. Yeah. OK, that is sore, isn't it? OK. I'm just going to check your pulse. And if you had to describe the pain, yeah. kind of one to ten, where ten is the worst pain you've ever had, oh. what would you say? It's probably like an eight, but... Eight, OK. I'm just going to have a listen into your bowels as well. That all sounds fine. Do you think you'd be able to give me a water sample? Uh, water, yeah. Yeah? yeah Come on, it. then. Take a seat, my love. Who's this lovely lady? Mm. My mum. Right, what can I do for you today? Mm, my um, throat. throat is really sore and hurting. She gets sore throats all the time. I just yeah. don't bring her every time because, yeah. you know... I've had a look and see about a tons, you know, when we've seen her with it. Are you ready? Temperature first. Has she had a fever? No, not no. that. No, no. She's right. only been like it since weekend. Right. She came home from Dad's at weekend and said, do you know, my throat's really hurting. Are you good at opening your mouth really wide? No. no. <laughs> have you got a cough or anything? I have it. Yeah. On a night I've heard a cough in you. Yeah. Open wide. Big R. This torch is brilliant. Put your tongue down. <laughs> bigger, bigger than that. Come ah, on. Do it. Ah. Uh... Open your mouth, Claire. Right, so looking at her, temperature's fine. Her tonsils are, are very, very big tonsils, but there is no tonsillitis right, at the moment. OK, yeah. so I've looked at her record and she had a, a nasty tonsillitis in July. She was poorly, wasn't she? Yeah. This, I don't think, is a bacterial infection. Yeah. I think it's a viral infection. It goes with a runny nose and yeah. a bit of a cough. When you get to about 12, 13, your tonsils often sh start to shrivel down. Right. Uh, a lot of adults <laughs> don't have any. We look in the throat and we don't see any tonsils mm. and they've never had the tonsils out. They just go. Yeah. So I think we can plod on at the moment. Plenty to drink. Paracetamol. You know, if she gets hot and poorly, or yeah. you, you'll know, because I know you're a sensible mum. She's sensible, <laughs> isn't she, mum? Most of the time, eh? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> so you know where we are if you need us. Mm -hmm. Keep plodding on, get a bottle of water. See, that's what I told you, just keep a pint. You young least. ones. <laughs> Teenagers, they don't drink, do they? No. You need to be drinking constantly. Drink now while you can. Me and your mother will be running to the toilet every five minutes when we drink a lot. <laughs> Definitely. <laughs> <laughs> All right, my love. All Is right, that thank, OK? Yeah, thank See you very much. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Any joy? Yeah. Perfect. Oh, plenty. Right, come and sit down. 
Seen in your records, you're from Malawi, is that right? Yes. Yeah, how old were you when you moved? Uh, I was five. Were you? I did some work in Malawi, actually, in Blantai. I did some voluntary work in a hospital over there for six months. Do you remember the name of the hospital? I want to say Queen Victoria or that's something. That's where I was born, I Was it? Yeah. yeah? <laughs> I believe that's where I was born. There you go. <laughs> <laughs> the urine is absolutely clear. Okay. But that rules out a urinary tract infection, yeah. but it doesn't rule out appendicitis. The only real way to find out is to send you into hospital uh, for them to do some blood tests and a potential scan and keep an eye on you. Yeah. I'm going to give the hospital a call. Yeah. I'll tell you exactly where to go. It'll be the, the Bradford Royal Infirmary. Yeah. Do you know where that is? Yeah. yeah. Okay. Hi, can I make a surgical admission, please? You did you always want to be a GP? No, not really. When I was younger, I wanted to be a vet. I don't really know what happened. I, I applied to do medicine instead. I think my mum was a deciding yeah. factor in that. <laughs> uh, and then um, I thought about doing paediatrics for a long time. In fact, when I was in uh, Malawi, I was working in paediatrics, which I really enjoyed. But then I missed adults and conversations with adults and that kind of thing. And with general practice, you get the best of both worlds. You see children, you see adults, you see a bit of everything. Hi, thanks for taking my call. My name's Amir. I'm a GP calling from the Ridge Medical Practice. Hi, I was wondering whether you might be able to take a look at an 18-year-old chap for me who I think might have appendicitis. Uh, started yesterday, uh, gradually got worse. Describes it as 7 out of 10 in severity. Otherwise fit and well, yeah, hardly ever comes in. Thank you so much for that. I appreciate it. Cheers. Bye-bye. Yeah, they're happy to see you up there. I'll just give you this to take. I would go home, yeah. tell your mum, Pack an overnight bag in case, mm. and then go to Ward 20 at the hospital. There you go, Victor. Thank Best you. of luck, mate. Thank you. All right, thanks for coming in. Cheers. Appreciate Don't forget it. your jacket. Yeah. Nothing to eat or drink until you've seen them. All right, that's fine. All right, yeah. okay. okay. Cheers. Good Take time. care, mate. Bye. See you. So, what's happened today? School's rang me up about half past one saying she's had an allergic reaction to something, but we don't know what. OK. She's and she's a, allergic she's... to nuts, isn't we it? We know she's yes. allergic to nuts. Then they've given her erythrodine. They said she had problems with the breathing. She got wheezy. OK. But she's quite blotchy around her face. Itching I... as well. Do you remember what you've um, eaten? Mm -hmm. No. What she has said is um, there was children having um, chocolates on the carpet. OK, so... That's the only have... thing. Okay. Let's I can think about. Look at you. When did you pick her up? I've just picked her up uh, about 15 minutes ago, but she is getting more blotchy. Since here. then and now, do you think that this is a bit more different in what yes. she has been like? Yeah. Okay. okay. Let's have a listen to your chest. Can you stand up for me. Can you lift her top up, Mum? Yeah. <sighs> okay. Have a seat. Her skin is red, her cheeks do look red. In case, like, you know, it became a full anaphylactic reaction, yeah. um, I'm going to call the paramedics, like, a 999. Anyone else waiting to make an appointment? Uh, a <laughs> Ready? Ready. Oh dear, that were a big sign, weren't it? <laughs> Can you say a big R for me? Say R. Ah. R. Ah. Ah. Uh. Uh. Stick it on your... Ah. Thank you. Thank oh. you. Listen at your chest. That's big. That's because I've got a big head. <laughs> OK. It's a ticklish. <laughs> ticklish, aren't they? <laughs> <laughs> oh. Hiding. Where are you hiding, hiding? Come on, are we going? This doctor's got more patients Hello. to see. <laughs> Come on, I know you're special, but you're not that special. <laughs> you having a relax? <laughs> Bye. Bye, everybody. Bye bye. <laughs> see you later. All right, thank you. Cheers. Bye bye. Come in. Hi, you there. Come in. Hiya, thank you. Oh, is this little Louise? Yeah. Come in. I've got two students with me as well, if that's all right. Yeah, today. it's fine. Thank you. How can we help? Well, I came on Monday um, about uh, downstairs, cos mm. she's very sore, and it's just got worse. It's spread around her bum. Oh, poor Lord. Um, she's sore? Yeah. Mm. So this problem with the nappy rash has been going on for how long now? About a week now. Right. Could I have a look, do you think? Maybe yeah. could we take her coat off and just have a look? She's all right on your knee, though. I don't want to upset her. 
You're a good girl, aren't you? I like your shoes. Very tired, are you? Got a mini mouse on your shoes. They're pretty. Oh. So she's in nappies? Yeah. Yeah. Oh, no, girl, I'm going to stay just... over here. Oh, dear. <laughs> All right, darling. Oh, bless her. She's really, really sore, though. <laughs> I don't know if you can... Yeah, I can see. She is really sore, isn't she? <laughs> and it's like that at the front as well. Yeah, let's just have a look at the front. We're going to put this mask on your face, OK? <laughs> There you are. Is that OK? Is that OK? Yeah. Yeah. Pretend yeah. we're not looking at you. When was the last flare-up? It's been a couple of months now. Yeah. We don't know what's actually triggered it today. So, a trip to hospital in the Naples. Mm. Yeah. Thank Thanks. you very much for coming. Mm. Thank right, you so much. You're welcome. Good luck. It's nice and steady. Yeah. Take this off you once we get outside, yeah? Once we go outside, OK. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Take care. Hope everything gets. Thank you very much. Nice and Cheers. Thank you. Sometimes when mine have been really sore when they were little, I used to use um, like Dipper Base cream on a cotton wool bud and just use that to wipe moisturising cream, but to wipe and just clean you know, and avoid water completely, because water can be an irritant as well sometimes. Mm. She doesn't look 100% actually, but I suppose if she had a She's jab... She's been throwing up all last night. Yeah, should we check your temperature, little lady? Should we check Mummy's yeah. first? Let's put this in Mummy's ear. Are you ready? Wait for the beep. Are you ready? Beep. Do we have that? <gasps> look, Mummy's OK. Should we check... Mummy's not got a temperature, do <laughs> Should we get Mummy to do it? <laughs> Mummy, do it, look. If you just press the button down on the top. Come here, look. So let me get your ears. Good girl. Good girl. Perfect, thank you. There, that's OK. Get that nappy off when you're at home. Fresh air is the best thing sometimes, just to help heal. Right, Dipper base. What's so baby? Are we going to go buy some puppy food? <laughs> Oh, have you got a puppy? Yeah, we just got one yesterday, didn't we? For guys on my sister's have you birthday. Got a doggy? You're mad. So how many? <laughs> so what have you got them? A puppy? It's a a oh, just one. Yeah, just one. It's a star. Yeah. My husband wouldn't let me have another kid, so he settled on a dog, and I'm, I am sure another child would have been so much easier than a dog. <laughs> oh. So you're going to be running after Piddle from the little one with a nappy off, and you're going to be the chasing dog. the dog round. <laughs> I can picture it now. <laughs> And then I've got a two-year-old. <laughs> Running through it all. <laughs> there you go. See how you get on, and if she's, if she's not getting any better, bring her back. Come on, then. Shall we go, then? Yeah. Do you want to go get some din, -din? Stop picking your nose. Well, <laughs> Take care. You Thank you. Come on, then. Hiya. Hiya. Yeah? You just love to keep women waiting, don't you? Well, <laughs> ask my wife. <laughs> <laughs> I stood her up on our first date. <laughs> you, well, do you know, nothing surprises me with you. <laughs> <laughs> Look at her now, she still loves me. Is it... Am I thinking your, your wife's the Dr Amy? Dr Amy, yeah. We met at Leeds University, didn't we, back in 1999, Freshers' Week? Yep. Random pull in Majestic's nightclub. <laughs> <laughs> and we got married in fourth year at medical school. Uh, we've got three children, and we've worked together for about eight or nine years. Do you know, I was, I was shocked, actually. I could, and I said to Neil, I went, I could have imagined him with, like, dolly birds. <laughs> <laughs> She's a dolly bird, she's gorgeous. Well, she is, but she's, a, she's an intellectual dolly bird. She's isn't gorgeous. She? Quite a lot of the patients like the fact that they know us as a couple. I think it helps them to relate to us as individuals. That definitely it? helps, yeah. Mm. And um, We get lots of questions about how are the kids and the dog and... Yeah, and you can share your own stories and people relate to you as a family and a couple, mm. and I think you can... Makes you feel more human rather than a, yeah. a doctor. absolutely. Mm. Right then, down to business. <sighs> yeah, um, I'm glad I've, I've got to see you, really, because I, 
I saw you in January yeah. didn't I? and we left it where I was going for the, the injection down my leg, which I had. Did you? Yes. Yeah. And it's been amazing. But things have deteriorated since I saw you. It started a couple of months after I'd seen you because we were doing well, pretty well. I'm just well. reading through what I'd written and there's a direct quote. You said, I feel alive again. And I still do because I'm not drugged up to eyeballs and I haven't gone back on the medication, no matter how. So I was right Bad to dig been. meals in one time. <laughs> Shall we give him that one, love? Yeah, I'll take that one. <laughs> right then, what's been going on? What's happening is uh, I, I've got a earache. Yeah. Uh, and I'm telling my teacher at school it's hurting. So that what yeah. they've done is put a uh, hot compressed on me. OK. But it, it was still hurting. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. What's been... he had for the pain so far? Calpol. Does that help a little bit? A little bit. And tell me about this, you've just been sick as well? It was just thrown up everywhere, yeah. I wasn't waiting. Were you no. sick before this or not? No. It's just the first time. <laughs> OK, so your ear was just hurting at school. It was all right when you went to school this morning, was it? Yeah. Yeah. OK. Right, let's check your temperature and then we'll have a good look, see what's going on. It's your left ear that hurts, is it? Yeah. OK, well, let's pop this in this ear then. Yeah, Jaden. Anyone else been unwell in the family or just you? Just me, just you. Okay. Right, let's have a look in your throat and then we'll look in your ears, okay? Just go, ah. Oh, well done. You're very good at that. Okay, so your throat's fine. It's not that. I'm gonna look in your good ear first, the one that doesn't hurt, and then we'll look in the one that does. All right. What? No, you can't have no more. Look at it, Jaden's getting his ears done. Look at that. Yeah. Yeah. Do you mind standing up for me to look in the other one? It'll just be a bit easier. Good lad. Oh, yeah. Wow. OK, have yourself a seat. He has got an ear infection, OK? Oh, yeah. The right ear looks completely fine, but the left ear is really red and looks really angry in there, OK? Right, OK. So the current guidelines are that you um, give really good, regular pain relief for the first couple of days. Right. Because it's causing him such a lot of pain, um, I can also give what's called a delayed prescription. So I give you a prescription today for some amoxicillin. Right. And if that pain relief that you're going to do isn't settling things down, or if he gets any discharge from that ear, then you start the antibiotics. Does that sound right? Okay? Yeah, that's perfect. All right. We try to avoid antibiotics wherever possible because most infections are viruses anyway. Uh, right. And then you don't want to take antibiotics for a viral infection because it won't do any help and it can cause other problems as well as antibiotic resistance mm -hmm. in the longer term. That's absolutely fine. Have your seat ball now. <coughs> All right then. OK. Thank you. All right then. Um, OK, you're welcome. Get well soon then. Thank you. Bye. Bye. Come on, Jessie Jo. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. All right, bye. It's not extreme agony where... How it feels, the only way I can describe it is, you know when you've been kicked and kicked and you've got the worst bruising ever? Yeah. That is how it feels. Right. And even when I just bend slightly, I feel as if my skin's been stretched. Yeah. And it's, it's awful. We do see that. It's called allodynia. And it's where you almost feel pain from things that would not ordinarily give you pain, bed sheets rubbing over something, like loads of things that's nervous system related. We don't... Um, you change your position. Yeah. Um, do you want to perch on here? No, no, I'm all right. I'm going to stand. There's often not an easy solution to it other than all the other ways that we try to manage your chronic pain. You still, even though you feel that things are worse since I last saw you, you're still a damn sight better than... When I because first I'm not drugged up to eyeballs. Yeah, That's yeah. why, Doc. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you love that, don't you? I do, yeah. <laughs> Some painkillers for long-term pain can actually be quite unhelpful. In short-term, they're effective, but in long-term use, we find that, firstly, you can develop quite nasty side effects. Secondly, uh, we find that the painkillers become less effective over time. And thirdly, and importantly, the longer you use some of these painkillers, they actually have an effect where they help you to feel pain more rather than take the pain away. OK, so I think yeah. we know where we're at and we've started some of the really important stuff, which is to reduce some of those drugs and make you feel human again. Would it be sensible to see me when you're at the point that 
I might have a go at the other, some of the other drugs. We Just can... because you'll miss me, won't you, if I'm gone? <laughs> <laughs> Say I'm your shining star. Well, there is a bit of that as well. <laughs> right, so when you're ready, come and see me. Brilliant. All right, anything else? No, that's fine. All right, Thank good. You. Thank you. <laughs> Bye. See ya. Might as well go that way, haven't we? I feel like, hmm. Hello. Are you a film star? Am I a film star? Um, of course she is, can't you tell? Yes. She's so I'm beautiful. <laughs> oh, thank you. Oh, thank you. How can I help? Right, sir, what can I do for you today? I've been coming to this surgery over 55 years. Mm -hmm. I went to the optician, they gave me eye drops, mm -hmm. got my eye I scratched. Mm -hmm. Now they have stopped the eye drops. Who have? The doctors have. Is it one of the GPs I, or one of the doctors at the, the hospital? The GP. Oh, right, OK. GP has stopped it. Right. Mm -hmm. If I was to buy them, it would cost over £11. I see. I see. I'm a pensioner. Mm -hmm. And I'm nearly 80 years of age. Mm. I'm lost for words. If I was to go blind, it would cost a lot more. Morning, my dear. Hi. You look good for 70 years old. <laughs> <laughs> Are you a granddad or...? 11 grandkids. Uh, You've got yeah. a lot of reasons to look after yourself. <laughs> You're only 65. I know. Yeah. You're a young whippersnapper. <laughs> They've had two new knees, so yeah. I did a lot of walking. And that's why you don't look 80, you look British. You look <laughs> very good. What's your date of birth? Second of the second 30. I wish I was as old as you. <laughs> <laughs> I wish I was as old as them, to be fair. You're not as young as I expected. You look a lot younger than, than what your age says. Forgotten is supposed to be retired. <laughs> Youth is wasted on the young, isn't it? Thank you very much, Lord. Mary. Okay, I'll see you in October. Will do, love. If I was to go blind, it'd cost a lot more. Oh, dear. We don't want you to go blind, do we? When was the last time you used them? I use them every day. Right. I don't like coming to the doctors and wasting their doctor's time over right. drops. If you need to come, you need to come, really. Isn't I don't it? like coming. Mm. That's the thing. Yeah. And what's the reason for that? Is it you don't like doctors or you don't like to wait? It's easier to get into heaven than to get into see a doctor. Mm. Now, Patrick, it seems like... You're smiling. <laughs> right, it seems like you went to see your optician, yes? Yeah. And when you were there, your eyes were tested by one of the ophthalmologists, so they were thinking that you might have what we call a glaucoma. That's right. Oh, yes. I remember. Yeah. Now you remember? Yes, I do. So it was basically those people who'd stopped it that said you didn't need the particular ones that you were using at the time. My eyes get irritated if I stop using them. Yeah, yeah. But, Patrick, does it affect your ability to see? Does it affect your vision at it all? It does. Do you think it does? If I don't have the eye drops, yeah. Right, OK. I know there's cutbacks. I know there's cutbacks. I, I know right. that. But I only take three tablets a, a day. OK. And now, I'm over 55 years coming so. here. Of course you are. But well, it's nothing to worry about. Now that you've come here, right? Yeah. OK. And I see that you still need your drops, so I can restart you in those drops, can't That's I? That's marvellous. Put it back on again, please. Yes. So I'll, I'll put that back in your repeat prescription. It's very good of you to see me. Sorry, how was everything else? Well, the last time I was here, I had blood pressure, which was high. Mm. And it's higher today. Do you think so? Definitely. Can I have a quick check? Yes. Uh, let's put that on. Let's put that here. How am I? Your blood pressure's absolutely fine. Patrick. Am I all right? Yes, you're absolutely That's fine. That's a miracle.
Hi, Nathan, Hi. come in. Hello. Hi, Dr. Khan, Hi. nice to see you. Hello, Hi, yeah. Dr. Khan, Hi, yeah. nice Hi, yeah. to see nice you. Come see and sit you. down. Great, OK. Uh, and you came in just last week, wasn't it? Yeah. Uh, and uh, you saw Dr. Keris. Yes. Uh, and he said you've got something called a pyogenic granuloma on your back. Tell me about it. How long have you had it for? About two months now. And, um... I didn't really notice when it started, when it, just in bed when it started bleeding. Do you mind if I have a look at it? Yeah. Have you still got that dressing on? Uh, yeah. We can take that off. Right, sorry. It's not very nice taking stickers off. Oh, yeah, OK, fair enough. It does certainly look like a, a pyogenic that... granuloma, yeah. Do you know what that means? Take a seat. It's, it, um, it's known for bleeding regularly. Yeah. It's trauma to the skin into yeah. that cat over here or something. That's right, yeah. yeah. So it's usually caused by a nick in the skin or yeah. something like that. And then it doesn't heal properly and it forms this over the, over the top of it. It should come off quite nicely. Good. Yeah. Uh, usually they're on a little stalk and we take them off yeah. right from the root. The only bit you will feel, Nathan, is me putting in the numbing medication, the anaesthetic, and that's a little needle underneath it. It'll sting a little bit as the medicine goes in. After that, you won't feel anything You're at all. You're not bothered, I you? just want it off, don't You want it off? <laughs> Fair play. Right, OK, so we probably need that shirt off. Is that all right with you? Yeah? Uh, Whitney, will you help Nathan just onto the bed? Are you OK to watch, Mum? You're a nurse, aren't you? Yeah, yeah. yeah. I'm you not don't... a nurse, I'm a technician, but, technician. yeah, I'm all right, yeah. <laughs> I'm, I'm brave. There you go. So you just like to lie down on your front on here. Be brave, Nathan. <laughs> Are you nervous, Nathan? <laughs> no, good lad. Will you send it away then? The we send actual, everything, yeah. yeah. Normally, within four weeks, you'll get a letter saying yeah. it's what we think yeah. it is. It's very occasionally, it turns out to be something that we weren't expecting, but they tell us that pretty quickly. Yeah. So, right, so I'm just going to give it a good clean, Nathan. It'll just feel a bit cold and wet. Do you like school then, Nathan? It's all right. It's all right. <laughs> yeah. OK, so we're going to put a bit of the medicine in now. This is the worst bit. After this, nothing at all. Sharp scratch, sorry. Good lad. Didn't even flinch. You OK? Yeah, right. Tell you what, Nathan, I've had bigger boys cry when I do this. <laughs> <laughs> so you're doing well. Hi, right, Patrick, how can I help? Both my hands are slightly swollen. OK. Both my ankles are swollen as well, mm. feet are swollen. So tell me how it started. What happened? It just came on one day. My knuckles were a bit sore and yeah. uh, no bruising came up. Uh -huh. But then it started swelling. OK. And it's hurt all the time, you see. Right. Okay. And I'm thinking whether it's arthritis, because my run's in my family. OK, OK. So something like this happened before? No. Never? No, I suffer from gout. Yeah. But not on my knuckles like this, no. not for this long not, time. Not, and, and this time it's both hands as well. Yeah. Because gout tends to usually involve one joint. That's it, yeah. One side. She wants her right puffy and I, I can't grip. Yeah, OK. I, you can't squeeze anything, mm. you know. OK. Yeah, are both hands same or one's same. better than the other? OK. Same, right. Yeah. And you mentioned arthritis runs in your family. Do you know mm. what sort of arthritis is it or...? Osteoarthritis. Osteoarthritis. Mm, grandmother, she mm. had all fingers all... OK. Let's have a look then. Those two are the most sensitive ones. These two, yeah. I can see a bit of swelling there as yeah. well, isn't it? And in my knuckles as well, you know. So that's sensitive there. This one is sore. Okay. And that one there. Yeah. That one there as well. Okay, let's have a look at this one. And the problem with your ankle, it started at the same time as well? Yes, yeah, started well. In fact, it was worse than that, slightly going down. Okay, can I check your blood pressure as well? Have a quick yeah. listen to your heart and your lungs. Listen from the back. Just breathe it out for me. And again. Okay, thank you. Right, so, uh, looking at your hands and joints, mm. obviously, I mean, you know, they're, they're swollen and they are so, yeah. okay? I mean, we've talked about osteoarthritis, which mm. is more wear and tear. But with this kind of presentation, what we worry about is a different type of arthritis. Right. right? Something like rheumatoid arthritis. Have you heard of that? Yes, I did. Okay. Yeah, yeah. 
and and that is kind of arthritis where your own body kind of starts attacking your joints and things mm -hmm. and usually it happens in the small joint of your hands mm -hmm. okay mm -hmm. so i'll give you some medications to help with the pain and swelling mm -hmm. okay and uh, we'll arrange for some urgent blood tests mm -hmm. okay and then we'll see you back with the results of the blood test okay does fine, sound yeah. okay yeah, right? fine, no yeah. worries i'm going to give you a short course of naproxen you take one three times a day for two weeks mm -hmm. okay There you thank go. You. All right, thank you very much. Yes. Take care. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye. Good afternoon, the Ridge Medical Factory, Veronica speaking. Hello, can I help? Hello. We're supposed to be going out on Saturday, this Saturday. We're doing like a, like a brunch thing where you pay 25 quid and you get brunch and you get unlimited Prosecco for about an hour and a half. Shut up. Anybody home? And mojitos. Mojitos? Oh, I've heard, I've heard rumours about them. They're supposed to be nice. Mm -hmm. uh, oh, she's gone. <laughs> So we expect it to bleed a little bit as I take it off, that's not unusual. What are you doing this weekend? Playing football. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Do you play for a team? Yeah, I play for Wessel. Oh, OK. I just started to stay for the Have you? Yeah. That's pretty good, isn't it? He's got a really loyal fan base, hasn't it, Bradford City? Yeah, because they're not doing very well at the minute, either. No. It's up and down with yeah. them, isn't it? That's the thing. My sister is the Bradford City doctor. Sure? Yeah. <laughs> so she might see you. Well, hopefully not. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> right, should we put that in the pot? Yeah. It's off. Gosh. You're all right, Mum. Yeah, I'm fine. Yeah. Mm. <laughs> We're nearly finished now. They grow pretty quick, don't they, Nathan, these yeah. things? Right, should we have an absorbent dressing, similar to the one that he had on before? Oh, yeah, that's fine. It's come off beautifully. Good. There'll be a little black mark where it's been. Yeah. Uh, it'll scab over, fall off a couple of weeks, and he should have a nice, healthy oh, kind good. of... Might have a little white patch, but yeah, nothing yeah. more than that looks So do good. I need to keep it covered then now? Uh, keep it dry for 48 hours. Yeah. And then you can take that dressing off in a couple of days and it should right. be fine. Oh, fair way, then green one. Cheers, Nathan. Well done, mate. Thank you. How can I help? Since... Well, Saturday when I woke up, um... I feel like I got hit in the head by something. Uh -huh. um, I'm very disorientated. Yeah. My throat glands over here, they're all swollen. Yeah. Um, when I wake up, it's like I'm severely dehydrated. Mm -hmm. so my mm -hmm. tongue's just like um, sandpaper, literally. And I don't know if you can see my fingers as well. My fingers became like that. And then this finger, all the pus has come out of it today because I've bent it, but I can't mm -hmm. bend it. Mm -hmm. um, well, now I'm all right because I've been taking paracetamols and ibuprofen, but I've been waking up every three, four hours mm -hmm. um, at night because I need to take stuff because my back, my waist, my legs, every, even last night, I rang my brother, he was only in the next room, I woke him up and I said, please just go downstairs, I can't even get up. I need painkillers. Yeah. Um, I've not been able to go to work for the past, this is the third day I've been off right, now as okay. well. I've got a picture actually of my hands as well. You'll be able to see yesterday. Is your throat still really sore? Yeah. I don't normally take pictures, but okay. You can yeah. see. So were a few like that with that sort of pustule. Yeah. Like that, just appeared. Okay. Do you work with any chemicals or anything yeah. like that? What do you do? Um, I'm in IT. Okay. Um, I work for an agricultural company, so they do develop chemicals and stuff. Right. I don't know if you I'm... don't get involved with touching chemicals. I don't get involved with touching the chemicals, but I'm in the plants and the labs. Okay. And then on Friday, I was in a few labs. I don't know if it's something I may have breathed in. I spoke to her one 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 and they told me I have to come in straight away. And what are the symptoms? 
Oh, I've got a very, very sore throat. So, and also feel maybe a little bit feverish. Chesty. Do you, are you actually coughing up? If you just take a gulp for me. I feel like my throat is swollen, not sore. Stick your tongue out and say, ah. Uh, ah. Uh, it's ah. Uh, uh, yeah. <coughs> cough, cough. I feel my throat all is sore. Anything else with it? Or just the sore throat? Yeah. The cold? Yes. You've got a bit of a blocked nose, I can, I can yeah. hear it, yeah. When I kind of blow my nose, it, there's a kind of a funny feeling in my ear. It's so painful that I can't even, like, touch it. It's just, it's just constant. Every time I swallow, I get, like, the headache. What are we going to do with you, eh? That's fine. All right. Nice. Now, I'll keep an eye on you, honestly, until we sort you out. Thank you. All right. I appreciate it. Oh, yeah. It's red, isn't it? Yeah, that looks pretty sore. I'm just going to just relax and say, ah. Oh. Ah. Oh. There's some white spots going on back there, too. OK, and you said you felt it painful under here. Let me see if there are some glands. OK. Yeah, right there. I don't know if you could feel it. Is that painful there? Yeah. I can feel those. They're not huge, but they might be painful. Yeah. And these have all kind of yeah. almost gone, you, as you say, still a little bit under there. You need an antibiotic for tonsillitis, pharyngitis, sir, and I'll give you something that will just finish treating what seems to have been an infection with these pustules here, OK? okay. Um, are you allergic to any medicines that you um, know of? Only penicillin, but that's when I was a kid, I don't okay. know. No, it's all right. What I'm giving you is what people who are pen allergic to penicillin would have anyway, so okay. that's, that's quite good. So all these other symptoms, like the aching all over, the eyes feeling heavy, feeling hot and cold, leg pain and everything, it's probably all related to the infection that's caused that okay. throat. It looks like what we call a strep throat, streptococcus, that's caused that infection, and that can cause quite nasty infections, sometimes even nausea, vomiting. In terms of work, you know that you can self-certify for up to a week. Yeah. So just keep in touch with work like you have done. And you probably won't feel quite up to going back for a day or two. But hopefully the antibiotics will work pretty quickly. And when you feel able to, uh, to go, go back... back to um, yeah, OK, good. OK. Right. OK, that's fine. All right? All right, thanks for OK, time. then. See you later. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye. Yeah. How can we help? I'm having blackouts. Mm. It's like I feel really down, and then mm. if I eat something sweet, that's okay. The energy comes back a bit. Mm. But some days it's like yesterday, I couldn't even get up. So just describe to me what happens. I don't have to be doing anything, yeah. and my heart kind of sinks, and then I completely get a black. If I'm not getting a blackout, I'll definitely need a drink or something. Mm. Something sweet, and then i come back, but then it's like my brains are half as... Mm. It just takes time, or, like, yesterday, I had a complete blackout. Mm. So you get mm. a sinking feeling in your heart. Yeah. And then you... you do you feel a bit faint? Yeah. Yeah. Mm. And does it come on suddenly? Yeah. Mm. You, you also said you've been feeling a bit down. Yeah. You're feeling fed up, low in mood. We've had two funerals. My both uncles have passed away. Oh, I'm sorry. Who's at home with you? My children. Just your children? Yeah. You don't have a partner? I'm a widow. Yeah, yeah. Should we check you over? Yeah. So... I went to hospital on Monday and saw Dr Shaper, I think, or Mr Shaper. Or... For, your, for your legs, yeah. And I'm just freezing. Mm. If you feel me, I'm just absolutely from top to... It's just like ice. Yeah. And he doesn't think he can do anything for me. Did he say what he found? Did he, did he say no. they were abnormal, oh, the pulses oh, it, or it, No, he said they were all right. I'm sure he did. Well, it's ruled out one potential cause for it. So the, the blood flow to your legs, the big blood vessels, the ones that carry the pulse, are OK. Oh, good. So that, that is good oh, news. Oh, that's brilliant. It doesn't mean that the tiny, tiny blood vessels that go to your toes and to your fingers they could still be... I mean, just feel my hands. They are cold, aren't they? Well, uh, my feet are cold. I remember, yeah. I'm so fed up. OK, that's good. So there's no drop in your blood pressure when you stand up. You didn't feel dizzy then when you stood up? Yeah. No? Good. So with any of these do's, is it usually when you're sitting and watching TV or, or have you actually fallen to the floor? I have never fallen to the floor, mm. to be honest. 
I wonder if you, you're a bit low and fed up in mood and whether or not this is contributing to some of the symptoms you describe. But you also tell me that you crave sugary drinks. Um, part of that may be because you go in fairly long periods of time not eating very much, yeah? But a few things I'm thinking right now. I think we should check your bloods. I think we should check them for anemia and I think we should do the diabetes blood test as well just to make sure that there's nothing medical underlying this. Mm. So let's do those blood tests. Let's see you back again with the results. In the meantime, try and get some good sleep, good rest. Try and get some exercise in the day, so fresh air, doing some walking, yeah? But I also want you to think about your diet as well and eating perhaps more regularly. You don't have to eat big meals, mm. but just eat a bit more regularly, OK? OK. There we go. Ask at the front desk if you can have a blood test. Okay. Here it is. Yeah. And let's see what it shows. That's fine. All right, my love. Yeah. Thank you. Take care. Thanks. Bye bye. Bye. Amy, I'm going to put something to you, and it doesn't mean we're going to do this, but I just want you to have a think about this. What would happen if we never got to the bottom of all of this stuff? How would you feel? I want to finish my autobiography. We're all waiting for that autobiography. You know, so yeah. I've got to... Sometimes I sit and I think to myself, I'm just lazy. Mm. You're not lazy. You've got some symptoms that are very real and are getting you down. Sometimes when we investigate patients with multiple symptoms like this, often they're very real, but we don't know why they're happening. It might be getting to a point where we say we've investigated it all now and we've seen people and there are some things that we are doing for the eyes, yes. the joints, but some of the other things may be a case of, right, I know I've got this, I have to learn to, to live manage it. it. I've got this book to write and I can't let these things stop me anymore. No, I'm strong, I can. You're very strong. You've been through a hell of a lot, Amy, in your <laughs> yeah, life, haven't you? That's I why you're writing that blue. book. I have um, blue. Yeah. yeah. I've got to enjoy life. Enjoy life and don't let this hold you back. You. Now, what do you think, girls? Doesn't that sound good? <laughs> <them>. Yeah. <laughs> right, so I'll send you out an appointment to see me in a couple of weeks. I don't know this doctor puts up with me. Oh, I know, I like it. <laughs> Anyhow, all the best. Um, bye bye, love. And it's been a pleasure to see the two of you. OK, Amy, I'll see you in a couple of weeks. Uh, that me done then? Yeah, that's you done. <laughs> Thanks very <Okay>. much. <laughs> Thank you. Bye bye. All right, you take care. All right, bye. Bye. Bye bye, darling. Beautiful. Thank you. See ya. Bye bye, love. First time she went to the hospital, they said she only had two years to live. A month it? ago. Yeah. yeah. I suppose it's like trimming a ham. I don't want that on my Sunday roast. It's a bit like alien, isn't it? God, it was massive. Idea that. That's quite itchy. itchy. It's just itchy. Quite imagine it. Honestly, it's all over her body. It's everywhere. <laughs> How long have they been married for? Because they were so close, weren't they? Oh, 40 years. Oh. And I wasn't going to cry. <laughs> oh, it's OK to <laughs> cry. They like contraction pains I'm getting. How many weeks are you now? I'm 17 weeks and six days.
How are you? I'm not very good for the moment. You look very nice. Oh, thank you. <laughs> Try my very oh, best. Of course you like do. Like you, you look younger every time I see you. <laughs> I w you're going back, but not going forward. <laughs> oh, thank you. Come in. Hello. Hi, okay. hello, Adam. Come on in. Oh, that looks painful. All right. Just remind me when you trapped your finger in a in a fairground ride. It's been a week. And you went to hospital? What did they do in hospital? Went to the nurse, bandaged it up so it should be OK, you don't need any stitches. How are you feeling about it? I'm worried. Does it, does it hurt now? No, no. Does it keep you awake at night, you know, when you're sleeping? Yeah. Just put your hand in my hand there. I promise I won't hurt you, I promise. I'm just going to have a look. If you just turn it around... What is that? That's really sore. What about on this side? Yeah. OK. So I think there's a couple of things going on here. The nail is blue and sore because it's bled underneath the mm -hmm. nail yeah. and that's putting lots of pressure on there, which is what's causing a lot of the pain. With all the swelling that's going on, I just wonder whether he's broken the tip of that finger as well. Oh, OK. OK. Right. right. Am I making you feel more nervous? Yeah, I'm sorry. <laughs> right. What's hurting you is the blood underneath that nail, OK? And the minute I put a, a tiny little hole in that and that blood comes out, it will be a bit like all oh, the pressure's gone and some of that pain will come off, OK? Right, so how are you feeling about me just using a little hot needle to put on there? You won't feel the heat, you'll just feel a bit of pressure. Okay. All right, good lad, good lad. Is it Kevin? It is, love, yeah. <laughs> just through here. No problem, thank you. Cheers, love. There we go, come and have a seat. Right, then. How can I help? It's hurt my leg, love. Oh, yeah, look at that. Yeah. How long has it been I mean, like that for? This has just happened two days, love. OK, it's quite red and angry, isn't it? I was thinking about going to hospital last night. Right, can you take your socks and shoes off for me? You've not got any ulcers or blisters or... No, no, ..no love, breaks no. in the skin? No, as far as I know, love, no. And has this ever happened before? No, love. Just a no. one-off, yeah? It looks really quite swollen. Does it feel tight? Right at this moment, love, no. It seems... It... It was yesterday, and I mean really tight. I felt like my leg were broke. Mm. Right, let's have a look. I just worry whether that's infected. You've got quite a clear red line I mean, really, I wouldn't have even you? let you touch it before, because, yeah. honest to God, it was that painful, I felt like crying. Yeah, I just wonder if you've got a bit of cellulitis, a bit of infection mm -hmm. in that I foot. Don't... So, I think what we need to do is give you some antibiotics. Whenever you're sitting, get them feet raised up. Yes, love. Right, let's check your temperature. Yeah, no problem, love. OK, that's good. Now, are you allergic to anything? Uh, no, love. No. No. So I'll give you an antibiotic that we know is good for the skin. OK, love. I've given you a week's worth. OK, love. The other thing I want you to watch is this redness here. You can see almost a line here, yeah, can't yeah. you, around it. Keep an eye on that. If yeah. that redness extends and gets more rather yeah. than improves with this, yeah. okay. we need to see you again. So keep them le legs raised up. Yeah? I will do, love. I will do. <laughs> All right, then. OK, then. Take care. Thank and you very much for that, love. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. Bye-bye, love. Bye-bye. Bye-bye, Bye-bye. 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 Bye-b
Keep that on nice and loose, OK? Do you still like fairground rides? No. Did you go on the waltzes? I've got waltzes. That, yeah, that's the one he got injured on. Oh, is it? Oh, we won't talk about the waltzes. <laughs> <laughs> How's his son? It's not good. His knee's out here. And it's all right. fine. He's had a bit of bone lump removed from his leg, but he can't walk. Nothing. I'm having to do Luke's paper round. Oh, he's got a paper round. Yeah. But it's embarrassing. Doing a paper round at my age. <laughs> right. Oh, my God. <sighs> Come through. Hey, OK. Hello there, you're all right. I've got a couple of medical students with me, is that all right? Yeah, it's fine. Yeah, all it's right. Fine. Come through, sir, take a seat. Oh. Ah, right. So... Oh you're seeming a lot of pain. Yeah. What's going um, on? So, 20 years ago, yeah. um, I got run over. I broke my leg in three places. Oh, dear. And when my femur grew back, it grew back shorter, mm -hmm. so I limped, and my hip bone kind of wore away. Mm. So they had to screw it. I see. Um, but this last month, I've been getting it really bad in both hips. Mm. Um, Sunday morning, I woke up with just really bad pain in my hip mm. and just my right hip. Mm. Um, I can't put weight on it. Um, I'm just getting constant pain all mm. the time. Mm. And you don't remember falling or injuring it in no. any way? No. Right, no. OK. And how are you in yourself? Any fevers? Yesterday, I felt like I was going to pass out. Right. It was... Is it because of pain? Yeah. Do you mind if I have a look at yeah, it? Yeah, it's fine. Yeah, okay. If you just get on. Oh, I can't lift it. You can't lift it. Right? Just give me a hand. Oh! It's all right. <sighs> okay. oh. Right, so look, if you just relax your leg. Like, I'll try to be as gentle as I can. Okay. So that's, that's the best you can tolerate. Yeah, that's how, yeah. Okay. Sorry, I'm just going to try and move the other way. You're not able to do that, are you? Yeah, it hurts. Uh... Right. This is clearly a bad one. Right. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> Blimey, give me a shot, fine. <laughs> uh, press that green button there. That's it. No, no not that, that one. one. No. That's emergency alarm. <laughs> Just looking, I think I spilled some coffee down my <laughs> Oh, my God. <laughs> oh, my God, I'm locked out. Hello there. Hi. I think you've come through the wrong door. You see, this no room, room six? No, that's next door. Oh. John Williams, please. Yeah, that's me. John Williams? Yeah. All right. Excellent. Right. <laughs> I'm ready at the door, ready. Excellent. Do you have any thoughts? Have I given you any clues by what I'm <laughs> looking at? Oh, dear at? me. <laughs> Just relax. Right. That seems to have a more range of movement yeah. than this one. This is clearly a bad one. Yeah. That's what you say if you just... So you did have a surgery onto this yeah. hip joint. Yeah. And how old were you then? From what I can remember, I think about... 14. 14? 14, 14, 15. Did they tell you what the diagnosis was? Um, arthritis, I think it was. Um, but they did say it might not last that long, and if it does, it'd be a hip replacement. They said that when I was a kid. Yeah. Um, but I've kind of just... I've been fine. I play football, I, run, I go running. Yeah. I'm kind of fit and healthy. Yeah. But then every now and then I get quite a bit of jip. Okay, I can give you some painkillers now. And the other option is I can have a word with the hospital doctor. Yeah. Okay, and they can assess you there. Yeah. Okay. I'm just gonna give him a ring. Yeah. My name is Dr. Saytham, Cotton Ridge Medical Center. I've got a patient, so he's 29 uh, and he's had previous surgery to so his right hip. Um, now, today he presented with a four-week history with gradually worsening hip pain. Uh, I was hoping that if you could assess him, please. All right. Thank you very much. Thank you. He's just going to have a chat with his senior colleague and then they'll ring you straight. Right. Okay, so they've got your details now. And hopefully they'll ask you to go straight on the ward and then they'll assess you there. Right. Is that all right? That's fine, yeah. Great. Okay. Oh. 
You gonna be all right? Yeah. Right. Good morning. Hiya, new baby. Yes, yes. Congratulations, Daddy as well. Hello. Hello, love. In you come. Take a seat. Thank you. Oh, another one. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. All together, five. Full family. Yeah. So this is baby Sayed. Yeah, seven baby Seven weeks old. Yeah. And then, so you went to uh, out of hours yesterday. Last time to till this time, he is never sleep. He's just crying like this, still so crying. So ever since he was seen in hospital, he's the... cried, cried, cried. Cried, cried, cried. Yeah. Uh, is it a cough or is it? No, nothing. No cough. Not nothing. I think his tummy is problem. Something like that. Right. Is he? Um... Breastfeeding or Yeah, breastfeeding, yeah. Is he yeah. taking plenty? Yeah, yeah. Yes, yeah, yeah. yeah, taking plenty. No fever? No. no. Right, take his clothes off and we'll have a look at him. Any vomiting? Yeah. Big vomit yeah. or little vomit? Big. Big. So if mummy's feeding him there, would it come to here or would it come to there or would it come to there? Just down here. Just down here. Chup, 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 She says, oh, she says, oh. No diarrhea? No. No. Normal food. Has he had wet nappies, dirty nappies? No. Not as many wet nappies. I'll just have to ask the hospital to look at him again because I can't find any reason. But sometimes babies get a condition where they do this big vomiting and it's it's a common problem. Um, and it, it, the vomiting flies out and we need them to check him because now and again they have a condition where they might need a little operation. It comes on about this age. If he's vomiting after most feeds and not having the wet nappies, it could be that. So now then, I can ring the, either ring the hospital now or you can take him home, feed him, uh, and I will see him again this afternoon and then I'll ring the hospital then if he's no better. Okay. okay. Yeah. So you're very experienced parents, aren't you? That's why it's worrying, because yeah, you know how to look... Him, baby. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Shall we just try him with a little bit of Gaviscon? You can mix it with some water okay. and see if that helps him, and if not, we'll okay. think again. OK, yeah, see ya. See ya. Where did you get one of them from? <laughs> Thank you. Can I have one? You can have one. My husband bought me this. <laughs> watch this, watch this, watch this. This is his best bit. Go sleep. I love it. <laughs> Remind me what your little boy's called. Connor. Did I tell you that my Shay was meant to be a Connor? Oh, really? Yeah, yeah. And my, um, come and have a seat. And my cousin uh, just had a baby just before him. Right. About a month beforehand. And got in and called him Connor. Oh, no. Best name. Right, my love. The last time I saw you, um, you were struggling with these jerks. That's right, yeah. Um, because you've always said that it's the Apple that's been the best one for you, yeah? It, it is, yeah. So, last time I saw you, we were pushing it up a bit? Yeah. How are we doing? Still not. And the jerks are still the same as before? They are. Claire, we don't know why this happens. We don't know why this happens. Sometimes it does. But it's not just the jerks. Uh -huh. It's so difficult to explain. Uh -huh. But, like, I'd gone shopping, and it's a feeling of, like, I'm almost not there. Uh -huh. Like, I want to pass out and everything's going on around me. How often has that been happening? Every other day. Yeah. Is that you? It used to happen before. Did it? it when did. you were... Can you remember it happening when you were younger? Yeah, cos I used to have, um and touch one they stop, but the the drop seizures. Yeah, so I'll walk and be on the uh -huh. floor, but not being able to and feel myself. how old myself. were you whenever you had those? And about 18. About 18, right, yeah. you used to have drop attacks, OK. Yeah. So do you think you've been free of those since you were about 18? Or yeah, probably since, since it, the, the since epilim. How do you feel about increasing your epilim further? If that's a possibility. Yeah, yeah. you know, we can go way up in your epilim. Yeah. Um, it's just always the side effects we worry about, but... Yeah. The, the, the main ones that people complain of are, are weight gain and tiredness. Ah, oh, weight gain, let's see, that's an interesting one. Do you think... You... I do feel like I have put a bit of weight on. I mean, I'll be honest with you, I think you look great. But actually, the last time I saw you, I thought you looked thin. Oh, really? Yeah. Okay. And where maybe if you have put on weight, it's 
it's going in the right places. Uh, but just keep an eye, and, yeah. and, and, and you know, if if if, if weight gain bothers you, and it's something we need to talk about, we'll yeah. we'll, we'll talk about it. Because it just tends to sit round here. That's, that's, <laughs> obviously, having children, yeah, that's and cesareans, that's going to be a given anyway. Tell me you about know, it. Yeah, I know, I know, yeah, I know. I know. And if you can tell me how to get rid of it, then I'll <laughs> I'll, I'll give you a million pounds. I'll find it. I'll find it and give it to you. Radio. Um, so we are going to go to nine hundred and nine hundred. Okay. Yeah. yeah. Is that yeah? yeah. Is just that... anything, just okay. to train. Yeah. Right, my love, you take care. Yep. Good to see you. Yeah, Good to see too. you looking well. And thank you for coming. You can come back because you've just been <laughs> super duper, haven't you? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> right. My name's Dr. Said. What can I do for you? She's um. She went in yesterday, mm. and they've referred her for a patch test doing. Mm. She's. I think it's hives what she's got. It's like they're not. I don't know what they're diagnosing her with. I'm just going, they're giving her something and then coming back. Right. So I don't actually know if it is hives what she's got. Oh but dear, that looks is, quite itchy. She's itchy quite mad. This it? is itching that bad. She's crying to me. She's wanting to put cream on right. on her own. Right. It's just, it's all over her body. Yeah, I've been going through the notes. Uh, apparently, she has been referred to dermatology, mm -hmm. but it's really important that you know you keep her away from the sun mm -hmm. and keep her kind of covered and use the yeah. sunscreen uh, until we get to the bottom yeah. of it. Right, I can see that she's quite itchy. This mm. is a all honestly. Let's have a look. It's bad. <coughs> Nyla, can I have the phone a minute while Doctor looks at you? Oh, that's where the noise is coming from. <laughs> it's coming from. Right, so where, where did you see the, the most of the rashes on the face? Her face swells up, her eyes swell up the most. Right. And the backs of her legs have started today. And then it, were un it was under her leg. It's, she just keeps scratting upon scratting, so it swells and then it goes right. down. Yeah. Let me see. Have you noticed any rash in her scalp? You know, like when you get goosebumps, yeah. and it'll be honestly, it's everywhere mm. in a minute, Kayla. Yeah. You can see how it leaves her skin marked. Yeah. yeah. So she's had some cetirizine yesterday. Is that helping? Obviously not, no. Um, and what have you been using in the past? Oil. They're just right. giving me a vein oil. Yeah. Uh, yeah. I think because she's quite itchy, um, I'd, I'd suggest her using the calamine lotion again. Would you? Right, yeah, because it, it really helps with the itch. Um, now, carry on with the cetirizine. Yeah. And... Um, Don't itch it, darling. Um, I'll give you a cream. Oh, right. OK. Now, apply very thinly on the face, like literally yeah. just the tip of your finger. Yeah. And, and make sure that nothing gets into her eye. Right. OK. And we'll see how she responds to that. Yeah, okay. that's great. I would expect things to settle in the next few days. If if the rash gets worse or she's she's not liking the cream or symptoms what? get worse, then come back. Uh... Come here, no. Do you want mummy's phone back? Can you say my name? Let's go. Come on, you Let's go. Oh, it's a skeleton. <laughs> skeleton. Bones. Oh, oh there's a curtain. <laughs> yeah, it's a curtain. Right, thank you, you so much. Right. Say thank you, Nye. Bye. <laughs> Bye. 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 See right, you take later. care. Oh, go on then. <laughs> the remote name could not be resolved. Bloody hell. Gas. Gas. Oh, don't ask me to do it again. Don't ask me to do it again. Ah. But look, what's he doing? What? Oh my God, Almond is open now. Jesus. What? What are you doing? Uh, I can't even spell my own name. Oh, bloody hell. Hi, Amanda. Hi. How's it going, diabetes wise? Fine. Really, just as it has been. But yeah. Although I did have a really bad hypo where I felt I was going to pass out, and that is the first right. time you ever. Said it was the worst one you've ever yeah, had. Yeah, I've no, ever right. had. But I've only had that once. Tell me about if you've had any other funny shaky do's. You yeah, you do yeah, them, yeah you? I do have them, but not very often. But have um, we got a new thing with this liver condition? You've had, you've got this little bit of fibrosis in the liver, haven't you? Well, is it a little bit? Because you see, I don't know where I stand with She's this. She's really confused because the first time she went to the hospital, yeah, the, the liver guy said. Pretty much, she only had two years to live. 
Right. Um, it's a bit of a shock. Yeah, and we couldn't... When was that? I hope it's more than two years ago. A month. And we couldn't understand A month it. ago? Yeah, yeah, because she was having liver function tests. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. Nothing's ever been flagged yeah, yeah. up. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And so it was a massive shock, wasn't yeah. it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Three letters and new Y. Very good. Mm. Hello, someone have a seat. I'm Linda Eves. Brought a little helper with you today. Uh, yeah, I've got, yeah, that's my little daughter. What's your name, darling? Khadija. And what does your mum do for you to help? She pushes on the other side. She helps you up. Um, sorry, can I ask the embarrassing question? Um, you're not using any contraception at the moment because you don't need it. Is that right? Uh, yeah. Because they are your favourite colours, aren't they? Yeah. Okay, what I need to do, I need to have a look inside your your mouth. All right. She has cleaned her teeth this morning, Doc. It's just, I can, it's bad. You see, I didn't realise that all these different things stem from diabetes because yeah. it never affected me. Vanda suffers from type 2 diabetes and also has a condition called non-alcohol related steatohepatitis. This is a condition where fat deposits within the liver cause inflammation. Unfortunately, Vanda has been unlucky in that her fatty liver has progressed to inflammation and scarring or fibrosis. You know, I still find it so hard to believe that yeah. it's still not showing up. It's well recognised that the tests we can do often don't pick it up. Well, if you think about your liver, you can lose a kidney quite easily, yes, can't you? Yeah. And still be fine, because yeah. you've got enough reserve. Yeah. With your liver, you can lose a lot of your it liver. He said, I've got plenty of meat inside. Meat inside? What did he mean? Uh, uh, like, <laughs> fresh meat, if you like, you know. Top, top and bottom were knackered, but middle bit were Right, all right. so plenty of liver meat, he means, doesn't yeah, it? Yeah, hey? yeah. It's a bit of a bit of pill to swallow because you've never been a drinker. You've got no. Yeah, yeah. It's the diabetes. I'm not as negative about the outcome. Early signs of liver fibrosis are reversible with lifestyle and improved diabetes control. However, as fibrosis progresses, there's more chance of it progressing then onto liver cirrhosis. Is this likely to progress faster liver or is there anything she can do to help herself? Yeah, what we want to do is keep everything nice and stable. But it looks as though there might be enough liver functioning well enough to keep you going. So I'd be optimistic about that. All right, that's good. Mm. Uh, you're on two medications, aren't you? Yeah. You're on your insulin and you're on your metformin. Mm. What I think we should do is cut your insulin down by at least a half. The metformin, I'll just wait at the moment. I'll look at your kidney function as well. OK. So, does that all that make sense? Yeah. Right. Yeah. See you in four months. Right. OK. <laughs> right, cheers. See you later. Thank cheers. You. Thank Bye. you. Bye. Shall I leave him a message to say, please contact the surgery? Yeah, please. Hi, it's Dr. Taylor. That was my impression. It was rubbish, wasn't it? <laughs> my kitten's taking the cat, me, and my East Yorkshire accent. <coughs> no. Oh, no. I like that. Hi, I'm Dr. Khan. Nice to see you. Nice to see you. Hiya, you all right? Who have we got here? It's my daughter, Caprice. Oh, hiya, Caprice. That's a nice name. Thank you. <laughs> right, I understand you've got a lipoma, yeah. And what do you understand about the term lipoma? Nothing really. It's just it's like a fat growth. Yeah, it's just a lump of fat. Sometimes the body just kind of deposits it in this kind of circular growth. Like the past two years, you've just noticed it and it just no, seemed yeah. to get bigger all of a sudden. Mm. Maybe I've had more holidays and noticed it more. Shark fin release from in water. Is that why it's just come, <laughs> come above <laughs> the waterline? <laughs> the bay. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> um, should we have a look at it? Yeah, of course yeah. you can, yeah. Oh, it is oh, a big one, isn't it? Yeah. OK. Right, yeah, we'll take that off for you okay today. That, yeah. yeah. I've seen one bigger than that before. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, good. No, it's my first one. <laughs> <laughs> it was bigger than I was expecting because in the lettery she's referred to it as 
a 1.5 centimeter lipoma. So I was just surprised. All right, so we'll get it all out. Um, we just need your top clothing off. Okay. Uh, so if you just lie on your front. On my front. Yeah, okay. that's it. Right, so I'm just going to give you your first injection now. So here we go, yeah. it's just a sharp scratch. Can you feel that? Mm, yeah, just, yeah, but it's not, it's not sharp pain. I'm going to start, and then if it gets okay. painful, yeah. let me know, because I think what you're feeling is more pressure, but we'll have a, we'll have a look and see what you think. What does that yeah, feel that like? Felt a scratch up. Is that, yeah? yeah. Uh, let's try a bit more. You don't want to part with it, really, do you? <laughs> uh, you got quite attached to it after 20 <laughs> years. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Right. If it wasn't big before, it is now, because it's full of fluid. <laughs> you get to play football with that when it comes yeah. out. <laughs> right, let's see what we're dealing with now. Is that OK? Yeah. Yeah. Come through. Hiya. Hello there. Hey, come and take a seat. Right, what can I do for yeah. you today? Uh, I've, you, I think you received a letter from the hospital. I mm. just come to discuss that, really. Right. What was it about? Uh, um, well, I went in for my thumb. They said I fractured it, and then on yeah. X-rays they showed it as arthritis. Right. So, is it only one joint, or? I uh, know it's uh, well. The problem's been about three years now. Mm -hmm. um, it started off with my elbow, right. my wrist, my thumb, and then my other like joints, my fingers as well. So, so after... does it come and go? Yeah, it comes and goes. It stays for like, about three, four days. Right. Like that. And then I won't be able to move the joint as well. Okay. And it swells up as well, like my thumb on the side of here and both sides, it quite swells right. up. Right. Have you noticed any other symptoms at all, like red eyes or any ulcers in your mouth? Um, no. Any rashes anywhere? No. Okay, any changes to your nails? Um, no. No. Do you mind if we just have a look? Yeah. Right, so let me just have a feel of your wrist. Just have a feel. How does that feel when I put pressure fine. on that? Let me feel the other one. Yes. Okay. And that's okay. Yes. Are you normally stiff in the morning? Um, at times, yeah. It's mm -hmm. mainly my fingers and stuff that I feel right. quite stiff. And how long does that last for? Uh, not long, probably about 20 minutes or so. Right, okay. Now, what the hospital was suggesting that they think this could be arthritis. Yeah. Now, arthritis could be of different types. Types, yeah. One is inflammatory arthritis, right, yeah. where your body's own immune system attacks your joints. Right. OK. And the first thing that we do, we do some blood tests. If they come back positive, then what I will do the next day will be a referral to rheumatology. Right. OK. So I'll do, I'll do those set of bloods. Hopefully we should get results in a few days. Right. OK, and then I'll talk to you once we have those results right, okay, back. That's fine. OK, Is there anything else you want to ask me? No, that's all for now. It's all right? <laughs> yeah. OK. All right, then. Thank all right. you. Take See care. So, Ellie, you can see that it's kind of a pinky colour at the moment, which is a mm -hmm. cutaneous tissue, but just lurking underneath that, you can see spots of yellow, yeah. and that's the lipoma. Mm -hmm. How are you doing? Yeah, I'm doing good. But yeah, I'm quite relaxed now, yeah. It's impressive, isn't it? Yeah. I suppose it's like trimming a ham. I don't want that on my Sunday roast. It's like alien, isn't it? <laughs> <laughs> God, it looks like an organ. <laughs> Massive. A church organ. <laughs> Are you OK? Yeah. Yeah. Good, We're nearly there now. It's good. coming out. OK, we're going to need a big pot for this one. I think we've only got one size. Yeah, it's nearly there. Good. Uh, nearly there. I don't think you're going to get all that in pot no. that we've got. 
It looks oh. a bit like a chicken breast. It does a bit. Before it? it's cooked. Yeah. <laughs> so how many stitches will this take? Probably five or six. Do you have to do needle crafting for this as well? <laughs> yeah, crochet. <laughs> <laughs> Knitting. <laughs> you know what, I can't. Oh. If you can do that, you could definitely do buttons. I, I don't know, I've never tried. Right, I'm just going to give it a clean and we'll put a dressing over okay, it. Okay, fine. It looks good, Dad. Good. Oh, thanks, Caprice. <laughs> Does that feel better? Brilliant. I've lost my tongue piercing, Veronica, and I'm not right happy. Oh, I just... That just really... What? <laughs> what? I just can't imagine. Why would anybody want to stick a thing in the tongue? Um, Because it's satisfying. Is it? Mm. I'm coming home. I need to pick up my maternity, maternity notes. She's coming with me. She's coming with me to the hospital to lead, she said. Sanam Rafiq. OK, I'll speak to you later. Sanam Rafiq. OK, I've got called in. OK, bye, bye. Hi, my name is Dr Hack. I'm seeing you instead of okay, Dr Yunus. Is that OK? Yeah. I've got a scan as well. Have you got a scan today? What time? Yeah. It's at 1.30. OK. I'm sorry about the wait. Please no, no, have a seat. Okay. No, okay. So, um, so yeah. what's the problem? I've got... Um, they like contraction pains I'm getting. OK. They just, like, lower down. Lower down. I'm getting shooting pains in my vagina. And yesterday there was... Do you know what? Um, in my back passage, there was a severe pain there. Didn't okay. I? Like now, when I'm sitting down, I've got on and off coming pains. Okay. How many weeks are you now? I'm 17 weeks and six days. But I went into early labour with Malika. Originally, How early did you go in? I went in 18 weeks, and then oh, she had a heart problem, and then I went on to like um, sterile drip. So I'd went in quite a few times. Okay. Okay. Yeah. So you're worried about that? Um, yeah. Okay. And which number of pregnancy is this? Year? It's fifth. Okay, it's are you weeing OK? No burning, yeah, stinging okay. or no yeah. blood or anything no, that you've noticed? Like that, anything? No. OK, and uh, this pain, when, is it, when did it start? It's been... I had... Originally, I had a car accident. And at that point, it, they did start, and then they've settled. And then, since yesterday, they're just getting worse again. It's but getting... It's like um, in my back passage, I've not had it. Mm. But then since Does yesterday... Does it feel as if, like, you know, there's a pressure? There's, it's a pressure, that's what it is. And even now, it's not easy enough. Oh, I've got loads. I love animals. And one slightly weird question. You don't keep birds as pets? No. Not pigeon fancy or anything like no. that? No. OK. So he's currently on holiday and he's been scratched by a cat. He wants to know if he's been covered for rabies. Do us a favour. Open that for us, please. I've got a spider in there. Melody, so she beautiful. don't like spiders. What kind of dogs do you have? The staff and the Shih Tzu. Oh, oh nice and Shih Tzu, is that? Oh. <laughs> is it hot water bar? I thought you were carrying a rabbit. <laughs> I was like... Tell me about your dog. My dog is 95% idiot, 5% staffer. I'm coming, Pat, I'm coming, I'm coming. <laughs> How are you? No, not too bad, my wife. Thank you very Good. much. Yourself? Yes, I'm fine, thank you. Good. Even better at half past five when I'm done. Ah, oh, well, yes, indeed. So, you were only taking amlodipine 10 milligrams, but your blood pressure was still raised. Thank you. You've been bashing yourself. In actual fact, yes. What did you Basically, do? I, I opened the car door and the corner of the top of the car door was smacked right in it. Oh, dear. Yeah. Uh, it was painful, I'll tell you straight, it was. What Although... about the reason that you stopped taking all these tablets were the night sweats? Are they staying away? I think so. Good. What's your plans today? <sighs> I've got to go to a, a garden centre to get some fish. All right. Uh, it's a blue... blue... Uh, koi. Very nice. Yeah, but no, no, not for me. It's... All right. A replacement for my friend who's uh, on holiday, and uh, unfortunately the sun got to him, virtually boiled him, <gasps> which is not nice. Were you looking after him now? I nearly cried when I saw him. <laughs> I'm supposed to be looking after him as well. <laughs> it doesn't help, does it? So are you going to complain and tell them 
the truth, the whole truth, and nothing but the truth. Well, I didn't do it. It's no. the sun that boiled yeah, them, not yeah. me. <laughs> You're but... not just going to pretend that they're all OK. Well, no, he, he was rather re really, really fond of these fish, and yeah. uh, I'm, I'm trying to get him some, some replacements uh, before he comes home, because he'll go absolutely mind-boggling crackers <sighs> if he finds them missing. And, you know, it isn't my fault, obviously. No, no. OK, <laughs> your blood pressure average is perfect. Oh. So we need to just leave your meds as they are now. You all right with that? Indeedy, yes. I hope you find the fish. OK, don't, my dear, thanks ever so much. You're welcome. Let me oh. get this door for you. Yeah, indeed. <laughs> I'll see you later, Pat. See you later. Bye. See you now. Bye-bye. OK, let's have a look. It's there. Yeah. Yeah. Do you want to just lie down? Let's have a feel. OK. Can you just lift your top yeah. for me? OK. Just relax, OK? It's just there. It's tender one. Yeah. Is that quite tender, isn't yeah. it? Yeah. It's a bit difficult to sort of say what is causing it, especially with your background history of sort of you're nearly the same time that you yeah. went into labour with your daughter and obviously yeah. it's your tummy is soft at the moment. Yeah. You are tender, but you're tender in the lower part, yeah. like where, where the uterus is. Now, obviously, that, that can be read to, due to various reasons. Mm -hmm. um, I think the best option would be to be for you to be checked out in the maternity assessment union. They can put the machine on and have a listen to the okay. baby's heart re heartbeat as well. How does that sound to you? Yeah, now? that's fine, yeah. Uh, let me see if I can ring them up. Hi, my name is Dr. Huck. I've got a lady who's 17 weeks pregnant. Um, uh, basically, she's she's got a history of having a, um, a premature uh, labour at about 18 weeks with the first child. Um, it's a two-day history of lower abdominal pain, uh, which has just worsened overnight. And it feels like she's she describes them like strong contractions, and she's having some pain in her back passage, like a pressure. I just felt that if you could have a look at her. She went into labour at about 18 weeks? Yeah, I'm 17. I'm 18 weeks tomorrow. Yeah. I had to have steroid drips. With... The, the, sorry, she went into premature labour at 18 weeks and then she was having steroid injections. When was the baby born? I delivered her at 37 weeks then. She delivered at 37 weeks? Yeah. Yeah, OK then. Thank you so much. Thanks, thanks, bye. Yeah, if they'll see you on the on the machine. They said that once you've had the scan, you can go straight okay, to her. That's fine. Um, anything in between changes, like you know, pain gets any worse, and okay. you'll have to go straight away to the hospital. No, that's Take fine. your book with you. No, Is but that's okay? fine. Thank you yeah, so much. You're Thank welcome. you. You're welcome. Take just, care. Hope right, everything goes you. okay for you. Thank you. Let me just show you that I want kidding you. You know, I'll have to go back and look, but I don't recall getting a WhatsApp from you. Um, sorry, it's late. We have a venue. What shall we have as a theme? Lol. I don't recall getting that at all. Well, I think that two ticks is, means you've read it, it doesn't does. it? It does. It means probably, yeah. you might be avoiding me. Oh, no. Like no, 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 no. New glasses on. Oh, Hello, Hello, Doctor. Oh, how are you? I'm all right. Oh, I'm so sorry about your dad. Oh, hold on. I'm what do you and mean? Me, your no, my mum's all right. Oh, oh God, I don't gonna... say that. I mean, my mum's all right, but what we've heard about her. Yeah, yeah, come but on, I sit know, down. But I know, but my poor dad. Oh, we've had a right I'm time, sorry. haven't we, Dr. Yeah. Carr? Tell me what yeah. happened to your dad. Well, he had pneumonia. Goes to the hospital a couple of weeks later and his heart, the valves in his heart, they were just... Oh, no. And it was just a matter of days. Oh. And he went. Oh. That was it. But you know what? He went peacefully. Did he? Yeah. OK. Yeah, he did. He ran peacefully. And you know what? My mum hasn't been the same since. No. Oh, bless her. How long have they been married for? Because they were so close, weren't they? About 40 years. Oh. No. And your mum's poor. And I wasn't going well. to cry. Oh, it's OK <laughs> to cry. Honestly, it's oh. OK to cry. That's normal. Oh, I don't know. Well, why don't I come and see her at home? You can come and see yeah. her anytime. But you know what? 
She's always asking about you. Oh, I will... She is. I've got a Marks and Spencer's cream cake in the freezer waiting for them. <laughs> has to be Marks and Spencer. <laughs> you know me so well. <laughs> Marks and Spencer cake. It's my favourite word. <laughs> <laughs> right, we're doing your knee. No. No? You're doing that and... Yeah. Tell me um, about it. It's that look at it, Dr. Carr. Hmm. So where are you getting the pain there, Diane? All oh, right. Yeah. yeah. And, there. and there. So what we'll yeah. do, we'll go into this area here and that okay. will make its way along those there and there. Okay. So you know the drill. Can I get an orange needle? Yes. Yeah. Right, Diane, if you just come and rest your hand on here for us. I will, Dr. Carl. You know, Diane, you can call me Amir. Amir. <laughs> yeah. I will do. I will <laughs> do. Great. Dr. Carl sounds so I formal, know it does, doesn't, doesn't it? I, I think will. we're way past that. Aren't it won't let me are. call him Amir. No. I have to call him <laughs> Professor. Professor. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so here we go. Just a sharp okay. scratch. I know it's not very nice. Well done. You okay? Yeah, I'm fine, so, thank you. I've only put, I've not put it all in because I was getting ready for a knee, so I've only oh, put those, yeah. Yeah, it's a small <laughs> joint. There you go. Smashing. Dr. Khan, you take care. You Love take care. care. Really nice to see oh, you. you too. Oh, do you know what? And I'll see you again. Come you on. No. <laughs> Where's our good new to one? See you. She looks nice in her glasses, doesn't she? She does. Yeah, 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 she always looks nice. Oh. Yeah. Yeah, you look nice. <laughs> <laughs> oh, see you soon. See you. Dr. Dr. Khan. Dan, just press that green button on the left in the door. This one. Open. Yeah, that's it. And just press Bye. It. Cheers. See you later. I know. OK. All right, thank you. All right, all the best. Thanks a lot. OK, cheers. Thank you. Thank you. See you later. See you later. OK, then. Thank you for seeing me. All right, then. All right, thank look you after yourself. Okay, thank you very much. Take care, Mother. Thank you. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye.